Guys, welcome back. Another episode of Riley's Gaff, live from the beautiful G4 Claim Studio. And as always, guys, with every single episode that we've ever done, and probably will ever do, we're sponsored by Collection 26. Best garments in Glasgow. New garments. Look at this. Look at this t-shirt. It's got planets. Come on. Sort of universal theme here. Solar theme, bro. And look, look what's out, finally. What, what are they called, Jamie? The Spooky Doos. The Spooky Doos are out, man. <laughs> Halloween specials. <laughs> and guess what? Thanks to us, thanks to this beautiful podcast, you can get 10% off, guys. You're welcome. With code Riley's Gaff. That's R-E-I-L-L-Y-S-G-A-F-F. -F. That's R-E-I-L-L-Y-S-G-A-F-F. -E -F. <laughs> and it's that easy, guys. So go and check them out. Collection 36, best garments in Glasgow. Cheers. Rocket and spinach chicken pesto pasta, rice and bean enchiladas, mac and cheese with char grilled peppers. What's this, mate? Is this Gordon Ramsay's new menu? It's not actually, Jamie. It's Cal's meal prep. And I tell you what, guys, Cal's meal prep, definitely the best meal prep service gone about at the moment. Um, oh my goodness, guys, I use it weekly. And as you can see, the results are stupendous. <laughs> we were obviously talking about my weight loss journey. Aye. 30 stone before I started this podcast. Can you believe that? So I'm, I'm humping the weight off currently. All thanks to Cal's Meal Prep. All thanks to Cal's Meal Prep. And the best thing is, guys, you're watching this in Aberdeen or Edinburgh. Uh, you can also get Cal's Meal Prep. This isn't just a Glasgow thing, guys. We're not keeping it in Glasgow. They deliver to Edinburgh. Sorry, I don't actually think they deliver to Aberdeen. <laughs> so if you're in Aberdeen, find somebody else. Uh, Stirling. Uh, or, 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 else? The, or the big boys. Or the big, or the big hitters. Sorry, Aberdeen, man. You need to get with it. Get your own fucking meal prep. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so I go check them out, guys. Calsprep.co.uk and Cal's Meal Prep on Instagram. But bam, he done them in the eyeball. You shot him. He's my dance, Oh my goodness, guys, we're back. We've got another guest in the studio today, but we'll keep him waiting in the wings right now. Um, aye, what a guest we've got on. Seriously, probably one of the most requested guests we've ever aye, had. Like, aye. Anytime we've asked for a guest, this man's name has popped up. Our guest today, everybody, Ravy Davy. <laughs> Woo! Welcome, sir. How are we? What's happening to us? How he's doing? I'm no bad at all, man. Uh, obviously, we might have gone this for a while since I, I, I don't know. Don't I obviously know technically, but I'd imagine I was one of the first people you spoke to. Not because I think you were speaking to me in its infancy, this before he's maybe even had any episodes recorded. And then I gave you the wee nudge because obviously I wanted to promote this show that's now actually so out. No, I mean, obviously I'm probably <laughs> cutting <laughs> right in. I know, I know, don't worry, don't worry. But, but that's what I was saying. So obviously it's good to go on it anyway because I think you boys are brand new, even though I don't actually know you. But I get to meet you, you know what Aye. I mean? I think you boys are brand new. Obviously, I've seen your stuff on TikTok. I really like that, obviously. So I am happy to be here and I look forward to having a Conversation with yeah, nah, and that is what's happening. <laughs> and that is what's happening. We're already having the catchphrase. This is how we got to do it. We've got to market ourselves, guys. Aye, definitely. Uh, have you got t shirts for that? Uh, I've got t shirts. I've had, bat, had old ones basically. I had the wee catchphrase. So, the wee, see Mr. Chip for catchphrase. I had like dressed up in my track and the hat and what. And <laughs> what's happening, troops. I've not got one just saying what's happening, troops. And that's bit. what's happening. I'm going to eventually get me. I've, the new I've just got one with my logo now. I, I like to. I don't want to, a lot of people like get different like honours of different mm -hmm. designs, not, but I like to just have the one t-shirt and then show that, make it a bit more. And then bring a new one. A lucrative limited edition or whatever, mm -hmm. right, so. And it's more known then, I know, and if you get a distinctive. To be fair, actually, I've never actually just had one that's just white writing saying what's happening to it, which I probably should, because more people, even people who don't like wrestling would probably buy that, you know what I mean? Aye, so, right. mm -hmm. aye, aye, defo. But obviously, um, there was a time that maybe you wouldn't have been making merch quite yet in your life. Um, can we pull the picture up? Because what we have here, people, is a, a young spring chicken. As we see here, we've got a young Ravy Davy just reaching his prime. Um, maybe a wee bit before his prime. But let's talk about this young man. That's <laughs> funny, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> no, but, uh, so this photo, obviously, this was probably, as you're saying, just before my prime, uh, about 11, 12 there, uh, just getting ready probably to start with doing my gang fight and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but warming up. Then, yeah, I, so I started hanging about the gangs then. I started hanging yeah. about with the gangs then. Wasn't really, then I dipped my toes in the guy. I was like, I didn't, didn't really want to start gang fighting then. No, I, mean, I was like, why? Because my sister used to hang about with the... The old, my big sister used to hang about with the old scheme that I would had to a gang fought against, so oh. I was like, oh, I don't know why I did that, no, I mean, yeah. I don't know why I did that, but Politics eventually I did, no, I mean, so it was about, this is just before, no, I mean, still acting hard, man, fingers up, no, I, <laughs> no, I mean, plus, <laughs> and obviously, it's a bit fat there, no, I mean, so I was, was kind of, wasn't he as confident in that? Maybe, maybe mating, up, mating up for that with a fucking, he'll be nah, fucking so that's obviously, so I wasn't maybe quite ready to, uh, 
jump in with the gang fighting that, but uh-huh. I was I was near enough there, not I mean, so getting, where, getting psyched up for it. So where where is it? You've been in Govan, like all your I life. Be, I would t- t- v- 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 Paul. I stayed, I was born in Govan. Uh, my wee ma, she used to basically pay people like, private lets. She'd pay the deposit in the house, stay there <laughs> for three months, and then fuck up. We'll stay there for an extra three months, <laughs> and then like, obviously once they're trying to kick us out, we'd do like a move. So one of the times we were in Paul, one of the times we were in Peace Hall, but mainly it was usually Govan. Then uh-huh. for the uh, cut of years. Probably before I was six or seven, eh, I was stayed in Linthouse, and then when my ma passed away, I moved up to Dremoyne, and that's where I've stayed ever since. That was obviously Dremoyne Square's where I've been the last twenty years now. Aye, aye, uh, that's cool, man. That's cool. Um, obviously, this young man, you said he entered the gang fighting and that. Like, what do you think that was? Would you think that sp- spawned for just being in that area? Or? Oh, no, no, 100%. Uh, well, I, I wanted the gang fight basically because I wanted to be a wrestler, right? Uh, and when, obviously, I thought you had to be a wrestler, you had to be an American and full of steroids. So <laughs> I never thought my dreams were achievable. So what I'd done was I would go and gang fight. But see, obviously, gang fighting, like, usually people would be like, flinging bricks and bottles and stuff like that at each other. I was a bit different. I'd try and cause like drama. See whoever was like whoever thought they was the top man for the scheme. I'd be up right up in the middle, nothing I'd have any weapons. I'd be like, me and you are air square go, let's fucking do a shit after, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Obviously try to like actually like, have what like, Try to make like a big, not like try to actually make wrestling as gang fight. Don't ah, obviously, yeah. I don't realise it, but see, no hint in the back of it. That's, that's what obviously it was. Be a like, I'm trying to get high, obviously, crowds all there. I mean, I suppose square going, not obviously, that's what it would be. So that was basically about my, yeah. my thing with the wrestling. Like, I like, know, I know. I was so obviously you can see there. I was quite fat. So when I was gang fight, I didn't, I didn't run for anybody. Not I mean, it's obviously people might, people might think I'm just saying <laughs> this obviously to make myself sound big, but I wasn't it, like. That's one of the reasons I know when I do rest and I do all these mad things and I don't get hurt because I, I don't know, I've just got a right high pain, pain threshold. I used to just get, sometimes people would barter me, sometimes I'd barter them and it would just be, like, I would just always stun. I mean, like, at times I've got a like, big scar, I don't know if you can see it there, but I've got a big scar on my head because I get scaled by a hockey stick because I just want to run away from people. Mate, I mean, just Clyde, Clyde Bolt on it. But, uh, no, no, mate. Uh, <laughs> but for Govan, no Govan, not me. For the south side, no the sea side, mate. But I so it's one of the ones. Uh, so that was kind of what it was. It was I was basically gang. Obviously, I know, you know what I mean? I'm emotionally scarred because my mum was did not. I didn't have a dial or that kind of shit. You know what I mean? But it was definitely doing the rest. It was definitely doing the rest. I'm not mean, there's my pole. There's my key just fell up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I that's that's interesting. You say that. It's like you've pure noticed that later in, later in your life. Like maybe you didn't know at the time, but now you're actual adding everything up. And you're like the reason that I wasn't. Na- you said like you weren't even gang fighting like normal. You were like running into a crowd and going. Uh, like, so really, you wanted to like fight in front of a crowd. Uh, yeah, definitely. And that, and obviously, because people would watch and all. Obviously, there'll be all the, all the lassies for both of the schemes. They'd be coming and watching and stuff like that. And then there'll be like just random people in the park who obviously like, phone the police and raging about you doing this stuff like that. But obviously, I was just loving it. And then it was that way. So obviously, I say I couldn't. I hit the new. Obviously, that's how I can think back. And I can see as well. So I'm at that age. I'm kidding on to people. I don't like wrestling and stuff like that as well. Sometimes, so sometimes I'm maybe not watching. I'm my pal staying there like a Friday night, but I usually watch Ross Smackdown. So obviously, I can't be watching Ross Smackdown. Mm-hmm. So I'm missing. It. So I'm trying to fill something else with that void. And it, like, obviously, at times I say I didn't realise it, but now it kind of it's pretty obvious that like, me going and doing this Aye. stuff. Aye. Not I mean, because mm-hmm. as soon as well, as soon as I look. As soon as I go to fun out wrestling, I'll, like, obviously I'm still a skin boy, still a mad Ned, stuff like that. That'll probably never leave me just because obviously it was like 20 years of that, basically, you know Aye. what I mean? But like, no, like, as soon as I got into the wrestling, I go, I go out of that lifestyle, you know what I mean? I just started like, obviously trying to chase my dreams and stuff like that, and obviously it's worked too much better for us. Obviously, as I said, I'll never forget my roots and stuff like that, but no. Um, but basically, when I was a wee guy, I was a bit of a terror in Govan, you know what I mean? A lot of people would call me a bit of an arsehole. Do you think you get quite a bad reputation? Like, but, like, no, no, anyway. We, like, we some people well, like, that know you for back then. That's the thing, I don't think, I think I've, I think I've, I think I've turned my life around that it. much, I think I've turned my life around that much, and I'm like, so like, all, the, all the people's wains and all that, and Govan like that, like, pure love me, like, all, always, like, you get what I mean? It's like, people, like, so done. that thing, and also people actually get to see the good things I've done, maybe, maybe it's like, you change your life, you're like, someday, I don't know a guy that, say a guy that, when he was younger, say he's 15, the, him and his pals have done something stupid and they've ended up in the jail mm-hmm. for like six years or something and he gets out and he actually has got to change his life mm-hmm. and he has changed but nobody's seen that in the jail so they don't actually trust him because people actually get to see on my TikTok my wrestling pages my Instagram all these kind of things that I've actually changed in life I'm no that wee dick that was running about spray painting everywhere and govin or like fighting in the park when your wains were you're trying to take Aye. your wains out or uh, what else or getting like suspended for school because I'm like hitting your wain with a rubber or hitting your wee sister with a rubber or like hitting somebody for your family with, mm-hmm. you know what I mean like, being a wee dick oh, Obviously, <laughs> probably could say maybe when he says a bully, not I mean, but probably people would like, think he, I was bullying aye. people. You probably didn't like, realise you were bullying because I, I get that. Like, see, in high school, I'm not making excuse for people bullying people, but 
at, when you're at that age, you think this is just a heavy laugh, but, but see, now you're like, oh, that was that actual bullying of it. That's a dick guy. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, that's why I'll never, I'll never know try and make up for what. That's one of the reasons I know that I want to, I want to give, so I want to give back to places like Govan. I want to give back to Glasgow. All these kind of things. Well, when I started, it, obviously, I don't know if it's something you want me to talk about later, but when I started it, being a wrestler, I wanted to be rich and famous, go to the WWE, be fucking big Ravy Davy or whatever, right? But now it's my my, my goals have changed. I want to give back to my community. I want to be a full time and living for the rest and not I mean and give back to like, my community and stuff like that. And like for what you took at the start. Wayne, like, I remember I know when I was away, like, like the youth workers would come around, they'd like, canvas ask you what he's what a day. And me and my cousin, my couple of pals would always say wrestling, they'd be like that. Wet. I no, I mean, really like, wet do you want to do? I'm like, wrestling, that's all I want to do in life. That's all I mean, my cousins and that, that's all we want to do. And they just like, right, cool, we'll try. And then obviously, you can't actually. Maybe, I don't know if they did. Maybe the youth fuckers didn't go and suggest it, but who knows? Oh, that'd be fucking dark. I don't know what I mean, wrestling, shut up, man. Obviously, so that way, I'd actually like to have something on where. Eh, that's like something I'd like to have on with the Wayne's on a Friday or a Saturday or Sunday. For the people that are, were in your position, aye, like, aye. but no, they but can go back to get a There's actually somewhere for them to see this, so not I mean, instead of them getting told and then them need to travel, there's actually something in Govan, not I mean, because at the end of the day, I mean, I know, like, I love Govan to bits. Govan's my, my favourite place. I've been to two different Disneylands. I've been to Jamaica, Egypt, Thailand, all over Europe, and Govan's my favourite place in the world, not I mean, there's no place at home in my heart. heart. Right, so that's what I'm saying. I want to get back to it. Well, but like, we all know, Govan's got a bit of a shit name, doesn't he? I mean, the, the, when the, the council are dishing out budgets and stuff like that, they definitely know what govern high up on their list. No, I mean, right. it's looking out to our places and that. So I want to try and make something myself where I can either push people to give money to govern or I can just fucking give stuff to govern that's going to help them. No, I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's the way I want. No, I mean, uh, that's what's, that's just the way I want to be in life. Now, as I said, it was back, I used to be selfish about this, but now I just want to... So do you think that's why? Because, like, when you were younger, it was like you were doing this kind of bad shit. Do you think you kind of... You're doing all this good shit for the community now, just because of that. Well, well, it's, well, it's, well, one, well, why, it's, it's one of them. It's, that is a reason. That, but I wouldn't say it's. The I want to just do it because Aye. I just want to do it because I feel like I feel like if the wrestling not it's a, right, so I feel like see if the wrestling was there when I was a wee guy. I wouldn't have went down the Aye. stupid path that I went down, no, I mean, so I feel like maybe, even, if I, can, shit, even if I can get one wee guy that maybe was going to get trouble with the police or fucking, his mom and dad passed away when he was a young age, so he was a bit fucking unruly, or somebody that's been expelled for school, not something like that. If I can get wee, one wee guy that's life is going down the wrong path, get him to come to my shows and he fucking ends up turning around his life, that would be me, that's, that's me. That's 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 even if it's one. It's, it's, it's interesting, mate, it's, it's, it's like you, what he almost go back to you as a wee guy and wish you, you had somebody like you. See, you see, you know right, I mean? that's the one thing, because I always think about this, see if I could go back and change it, would I? I wouldn't, because if I didn't live my life that I lived, I wouldn't be Ravy Davy, and I wouldn't, so maybe in wrestling and all these things that I do, maybe I wouldn't have the following on social media, maybe Aye. I wouldn't be able to, because like, obviously I take day all the gang fight and stuff like that to maybe know that I could jump off balconies and do big mad moves, or I could take all these things through, like, I was like, all these hand. mad moves, if I didn't get smashed about with bricks and bottles, I would, like, that's the thing I'm saying, let's see when I'm doing anything wrestling, I get ever get to suggest I have an idea, people go, this is a bit mad, it's like, aye, but also run into a guy when he's got a knife and he's ready to stab, he stabs you four times and you're still trying to fight. That's probably a wee bit mad, don't I? I've already, I've already done situation. that in life. No, I mean, I've done that in my life, so it's like, mere, look, let's go and actually. Like, I'm out there and enjoy myself. See, it sounds, obviously it sounds quite morbid, right? But see, if I died in the wrestling, I'm fucking dying doing something I absolutely mm. fucking love. No, I mean, it's Rather than in your bed when you're or, or even fucking running out in the streets. Because that's the thing. If I wasn't a wrestler or that, I'd either be fucking deed in jail or a junk, you know what I mean? Something like that. If I didn't find wrestling in my yeah, You're quite an extreme guy. Like, uh, like every, you're always like 110% uh, well, any whatever. I've got ADHD, mate, you know what I mean? So that's kind of like uh, a thing with about ADHD, for example. So every four so weeks. He's got ADHD. So every four weeks, I've got a new hobby, brother. man, that I'm fucking boss to the one. You know what I mean, stuff yeah. like that, and that's the one thing with wrestling. So, like, you've got a thing in ADHD that you're obviously always trying to get about. What is it? Uh, what's the fucking word? I can't even remember, but it's the thing that you're always chasing. And wrestling, technically, I can always be chasing that uh, in wrestling because I'll never be quite, that? I'll uh, never be quite fully content. I, I think yeah, that with wrestling, and that's why as well, we even with like, this Twitch stream I'm doing or TikTok, because there's never really an end goal uh, in these uh, things. Not uh, I mean, there's no a finish in line. Uh, it's just all progression, and <laughs> it doesn't really. Aye, like whereas if, to, I, well if I play football manager after about seven or eight seasons, you're going to be like, oh, I've done hunters in this, not I mean, can't I do anymore. Or if I'm what else, or 
even like I watch basketball, but I get I, I, I'm when so when it's the, se- the full regular season, I'm staying up to three in the morning. I'm watching all the games, and all mm-hmm. that. But then by the the off season, I'm not watching the preseason and all that shit. You know what I mean? I'm just fucking. Like, you just think oh, that, that, that like that thing you've got, think that helps you in your career and all, because it's just constantly. Well, trying it, de- it definitely does help me with some stuff. Obviously, for example, with the rest and the TikTok, these kind of things that you need to be confident in, because obviously aye. my ADHD, I'm are just a confident person. I've I just I'm always and I'm always up for stuff. Not I mean, and these kind of things you need to be up for stuff. Not I mean, like, obviously with the wrestling. Well, you don't suppose like because I'm no technically. I'm no. Like, I wouldn't. I'm not what you'd call a wrestler's wrestler. I'm not what you'd call the best wrestler in the world. Like, no, I mean, technically. I'm, I'm not gonna get the and give you a fucking thirty minute technical masterpiece mm-hmm. like fucking Daniel Bryan aye, versus aye, aye. fucking punk or something. Owen Hart if you came back to life. Not I mean, some like <laughs> pure classic. But what I will go there. I will entertain you entertain for fifteen people, to twenty I minutes. Not I mean, it, it. And that's what I'm saying. Obviously, there's like. The wrestling to me is like a circus, no, I mean, it's a variety. Act. You can't just have all the guys going out there and doing do all this Hollywood uh, shit. You can't. You need to be have. You need, you need to have the, the the actual technical wrestling. Like I say, you need to have the main event. You need mm-hmm. to have the big bodybuilders. You need to have the cruiserweights that fly about. You need to have the women. You need to have the tag aye. teams. You need to have the hardcore aye. stuff. You need to have all these different It'd be boring things. If it was just Everybody, aye. Aye. everybody's got their sort of place, but it's funny, like see how you're saying. So, see, when you're a wee guy, obviously you watch wrestling and that, right? Aye, so, aye. who were you drawn to? See, as a wee guy, who was who? What wrestlers were you drawn to? That you pure loved when you were growing up? Because you seem like you like Mary the show, big the show side of it, rather than the Bret Hart sort of fucking well, that, technical well, wrestling that, and that. I, well, I was drawn to Shawn Michaels. Uh, so it's, it's funny you say that because I was I was drawn to like your Shawn Michaels, your Rocks, your Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I was also drawn to Mick Foley. You know what I mean? Like, he was aye. just because like, obviously he was underdog, and I just felt. Really obviously, because like, I was a wee chubby guy, you know, growing up. No, I, obviously, I was quite. I'd always get I, I'd keep people trying like bam up for being fat and stuff like that. So I'd always like. I'd always like the fact that he was always he'd got always bammed up for aye. being a big fat. Or big but he fucking didn't give a still fuck. Go for it. I, he'd do all the mad stuff. Right, I fat hell in a cell, mate. Aye. Would you take? Would you take that bump? Hundred percent. Would you? I'd would you really? To, I'd love to take it. But there's, there's one. That's there's crazy. one thing in ICW I done well. Uh, I was just at the top. Uh, is it the GUU? It was a big battle for the GU aye, and I went to like, jump on this tag team and the two of them just moved away and I just smashed oh, it after the ring mate, just in the middle of the ring mate. I'd, I'd, I'd love to, I would absolutely, I would love to do a moonsault after Hell in a Cell. Like a backflip after, I would love to do and that. That's mate. crazy, I can like, never I would do love that, to do that. I remember seeing you as a wee guy, that's I don't mad. remember this. I think I'd be like, but if you're doing a moonsault after Hell in a Cell, you're, you're, you're going to, even if you fuck it, you're going to do in history, mate, you know what I mean? That's got to get showed forever. Aye. Like, I'm immortalised. I'm immortalised. The guy that done that. I've never took a bump, right, but... I, I don't remember this when I was a wee guy, right? My dad said that I, I, I loved wrestling when I was a wee guy. absolutely loved it. And then I, I must have been watching a fucking hardcore match or something in my granny's house, right? Now when you're a wee guy, you get the wee plastic table and chairs. <laughs> mate, my dad said he walked in and I'd scud, I scudded. I was about, mate, seven. Fucking must have seen somebody on the telly hitting somebody with a chair. Fucking whacked my granny with a chair, mate. <laughs> and she's, if she's watching this in heaven... Uh, sorry. We are. 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 We <laughs> it's fun God, it too. God bless. Um, I'm sorry about that, but I that's crazy. Like obviously you're a wee guy. So what? When to be fair, my wee boy, he fucking scuds me with all sorts of stuff. Not you mean, can take it, but you're no, no, you're no, no I'm seventy. But I'm just saying, man. Aye, aye. Just, calm down, me man. Is, <laughs> is he in yet? Is he, 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 he obviously because I know I've helped. I've got me involved in like a couple of matches. He's not like helped me win a match before. Not I me mean, now. Like, like, he went and done like a front flip half the top rope. Really? Like, no way. What age is he? Well, he's nine. He's come up from ten. He's a wrestler. He to be uh, obviously does he just want to be whatever you are aye pretty aye. much aye you know what I mean like, but, but obviously because the pandemic's happened there's not been any wrestling so like, he's like, he does like WWE and that but he, like, obviously he doesn't really he's not got the attention does he, does does he, he like your stuff that. aye he loves my stuff that's what I'm saying so see I could stick with my match and he'd sit and watch that all day mm-hmm. and repeat you know what I mean but if I stick with WWE show no, no, I mean, I try to play I, for weird, stuff you like think that. it was the opposite aye, I mean? exactly it's so obviously eh, well, it's so obviously, I he wants to he wants to be a wrestler. He's always always he's always asked me when you got to have a wrestling ring, when we got to train, when we got to do this and all that. And I mean, when can you take me up to the school? But he, he wants to date. No, I mean, so much it's it's funny. No, I mean, but obviously, I said because of the pandemic, he's just been playing FIFA and Fortnite. So he's does like, he go to like see see when you're wrestling like? See your wrestling shows for like ICW. Will he go? No, no, no. Obviously, is it eighteen and over? It's, it's, male, it's eighteen and over. And plus, obviously, like imagine, like, obviously, say if something big was happening. Like, say for example, I'm going to like if I was going to if I found I was going to win the ICW title or something like or something like that. Aye. Was going to happen. Aye, you'd make, or, you'd make. I would obviously make arrangements aye. here. He's fucking coming to see that. Aye, no, I mean, he's just getting back. I would him in VIP or something like. Obviously, something mm. like that was going to happen. Or, I don't know. Like, 
I would obviously sort it that he gets to come and see me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's one of the ones, it's never really... The Hydro was the one moment I was thinking about it, but it was, mm -hmm. he was staying with his... Like, I think he was staying... Because obviously he's, my, he's actually my stepboy, so I think he was staying with his, his real dad. I mean, it's one of the can't be arsed for. So when, when do you think you made that? So obviously you watched wrestling. When And then you obviously said... Um, you were kind of acting out a bit through the, like the gang fighting with the wrestling. What was the where was the point that you actually thought to yourself, like I want to actually train to be a wrestler? And like, how did you even get into it? Because oh. obviously, new it's a bigger thing here. But when you probably started, it maybe wasn't as big a thing, no? Right, well, obviously, I'd, I kind of let on about my my mum being did that right. Uh, so basically, I'd watched wrestling that when I was like four, five, and that right with my cousins and stuff like that. But I didn't have it in my house friend like when I was in my cousin's house, I'd watch like. Sky and stuff like that, and it'd be on. I'd, I'd be into it, but I wouldn't be pure fucking glued to it, watching it 24 7. But then when I was six, my ma committed suicide, not when I mean, she passed away, and that. And the next time I was in my cousin's and it was on, I was just glued to the telly. My nana, she's noticed that, obviously, and then she'd put two and two together and she'd wait and go to my Sky box, put it in my room, obviously, oh, had all that stuff. So I was just pure. Like watching wrestling all the time, and my wee nana proud of not. I mean, that's the one thing. I, that's the one thing I'm good about. My wee nana never got to see me wrestle. Not I mean, because she, for the moment, my nana, my mum died. My nana put all her money into getting me like tickets to shows, wrestling figures. Ain't I wanted like I know any time I wrestle pay per view was when I'd get to stay up on Sunday and I'd, I'd get to my school in the Monday morning. All that that's stuff, class. just nah, all just that stuff, my nana. Because that's how I ended up. No, that's how I ended up. Really, obviously, you're asking. But I, since I was a wee boy, I swear I wanted to be a wrestler. There's no, I know mm. obviously people tell you that, but since I, since my mum died, basically that's what I wanted to be. Because I just watched it all the time. That is just like I just wanted to be a wrestler. Not I just watched it twenty four seven. Mm. Got all the game, just everything about it. But obviously, I started getting older and I'd like I'd be in school and stuff like that. And, like you go, you get made to feel embarrassed. I mean, you, I'm not even talking about athlete people at school. I'm talking about athlete teachers and stuff. Like you get asked, Aye. what do you want to do? I always remember it. It was either P7 or first year, right? I know I'm saying I can remember it. It was fucking good. <laughs> it was either P7 or first year, right? And uh, what it was is obviously I asked me what do you want to be, you know? And I said I want to be a wrestler. And the teacher laughed at his like, actual laugh, not I mean, lad, don't be stupid, not I mean. And that's obviously when I said the American steroids line. That's what the teacher said to him, like, you need to be American and be full of steroids to be and a wrestler, that's not that's I mean. Your, no, and that was always in my head, not I mean, that's always my thing. So obviously I was pure downtrodden, not I mean. So after that, I would start, like, people would ask me what I want to be, I'd be like, oh, I want to be like a professional lottery winner. Because, like, I didn't look, so if people, the way I see it, what I actually told you is I wanted to be, you just laughed at that. So I may as well I just, just say something that's that fucking ridiculous that you've got to laugh at, that geese go. To laugh, so I just tell people that, you know what I mean? You know, always laugh, but professional water, that's what I'd always say, you know what I mean? Just to tell people that, because obviously, if I tell you what I really want to be, you just got to laugh at me and tell me I can't do it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, as I'm saying, so I start obviously, so my mask did all that kind of stuff, so obviously. I'm wondering, like, hang on, I, mean, I love her a bit, but I kind of blamed her for my mum's death because like, she was the person I stayed with. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, so I had to feel. Didn't have any other so I didn't like fit in anywhere, and then that's when I went to the gang fighting, and that's where obviously. Acceptance. I was accepting a gang, so that's what I'm saying. At first, I wasn't a gang fighting with anybody, you know, but then before you know what, you're doing the line, obviously, I'm going to read or die for these people. These are my best pals, I'll do anything for them. So no matter family, what. Like I was my, that was my family, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying, so obviously, because I'd have been asked, so there was never anywhere to go to rest tonight. And then as I'm starting to get older, starting to maybe get out of trouble and stuff like that, and I just told me, get the fucking finger out, stop being a wee dick, all this stuff. So I've started like, being, I got a, a welding apprenticeship, hated it, one of the ones, right? See if you're ever doing something you hate, get out of it as soon as you fucking can. Don't Definitely. fucking stick about it. There's a mad guy, fitness coach, James Smith, I went to his mad show and he was basically telling me all these things in my life that I've wasted my time on. At the time I was wasting the time on it and all, but I just fucking... You do, you want I done it anyway, this is the mad you? theories, go to some mad something fallacy theory. And honestly, the apprenticeship, that's one of them, not I mean, try to do this apprenticeship just to make people happy. You know, see if I get out of that, could I maybe got a, an apprenticeship I did like or something else, not I mean, uh, instead it's better. So I patched up, but I done it because my wee it made her happy, right? That's the main goal, right? Mm -hmm. But at the end, that she got cancer, or actually, at the end of her cancer, she's, I've seen the documentary, ICW, the Insane Fight Club, so I'm like, ain't no way wrestling, fucking, Aye. this is a thing in Scotland, and Aye. obviously I've seen great on honours, like, ain't no danger. This is like a if he can now. do it right, yeah. I'm funny on him, and, I, and he's farting me, if he can do it, I can do it right, that's my, that's the thing, my head was obviously <laughs> new, I've met great, he's one of the nicest, best guys in the world. But is it I before? Wouldn't, no. I, before I met him, obviously, I just, I've seen him on the telly, and I was like, 
That's a joke. Like that. Who, who is he? <laughs> obviously no new grade. Obviously he's one of the best cunts in the world. He's one of the best guys ever. He'll help, he's helped me out so much in wrestling. He is actually funny on me, you know what I mean? Probably I'd say I'd admit no meeting him, you know what I mean? Even, <laughs> even though I've wrote my cut of ghost lines and that for promos. <laughs> 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 Exposed. But, uh, no, no, I don't do that. He'll be soon, <laughs> does me. No, no. I can't do it. Uh, one of the ones, so obviously, the grade was one of the best guys. But at the time, obviously, I would just been ignorant, fucking me, thinking to myself, if that guy can be a wrestler, I can be a wrestler. So it's then not, I went to wrestling school. It's not because you've seen it and it's aye, attainable. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, uh, to be fair, no, people are obviously probably watching me. Aye. And That's probably exactly people are like, I'm right. I'm, I'm, funny right. I'm funny on him. Aye. And he's fat on me. <laughs> he's for govern all this stuff. Like, if he can do it, I can do it. You know what I mean? That's interesting. But the way, like, see, because they see somebody like you for, for the scheme, grow up, that's actually like, a good thing. Because we guys go, yeah, it's, it's like, it makes it reachable for them in a way, doesn't it? Definitely. I just think that for him, it's definitely, it's definitely <laughs> came full circle now where people Aye. are saying to themselves, <laughs> I right, how's he doing this? I can do this and then probably go on for it. Aye. Which is cool, but that's what I'm saying. So obviously I went to one of the wrestling schools, can't remember what one it was. Uh, can't remember what one it was. So eventually uh, my nana, she was obviously dying with the cancer, as I said. Uh, and when I, it was a six hour session, that there was like a six hour session, whatever. I've turned my phone off, not I've come out, I've had like 64 missed calls. I'm like, oh shit, man, that's probably did, man, uh, bastard. She wasn't these people just looking for me, not I mean, right. obviously I'm like, ah, fucking, I'm never like, no doing that again. That was obviously pure heartbreak for me. Pure, everybody in my family were worried about us. So I was like, right, I'll do it. I'll do it down the line. I'll patch this and I'll be a wrestler later. Not I mean, whatever. But I always remember. I had a wee picture of that train session. I went home and I showed my aunt it, man. And she was she was fucked by this time. Not I mean, she wasn't all there. She was not well. And I showed her this picture of me at a training school. She got up, looked in, she just had a big massive smile on her face. Not I mean, I just always remember that. So that's one of the things that always stuck with me as well. So then my aunt passed away. Eh, wasn't he, my nana wasn't rich rent, like, I didn't really have a lot of money so what she'd done was she'd go in the catalogues and basically she ordered me a telly and some computer games she'd order my sister something my wee cousin something like that mm-hmm. basically obviously she did know she can't pay the uh, catalogues back and then she had like a grand split 250 each between the four days so I used my 250 I ended up see obviously then I think, I think I'd seen one of the documentaries I think at the second ICW documentary came out I'd seen that as well and I was like I want to go there to that company in fact, I think I've maybe told my story. I, think I went to the training school and then I seen the documentary after right. my aunt had died. Right. And then I checked it up and I seen the wrestling school that ICW used, GPW. I've used my money. I've went into that. I, that is what happened. So I went to the wrestling school because I thought, man, that's something that could make my aunt proud. She's about to die. Go mm-hmm. door and that. This is maybe something that could make her proud. Aye. Then when she did die, I seen ICW. I seen Grado. And that's what I was like, no, actually. Cause when I went there, I know, in fact, when I went to that art school, it was intense, man. They'd heavy put you through hundreds of fitness. No, it was mm-hmm. six o'clock. I was like, I don't know if this is for me. Aye. And obviously, and I've seen the was like, no, I can do this, obviously, I was saying, so, sorry, fuck that story up, but I'll be bit, but we're back anyway, right, so, <laughs> so, uh, as I said, so, I have went in front of up, I checked, hundred and twenty five pounds for your eight-week course, uh, I've done that, and, where was it, where did I, you, oh, sorry, I, the GPW, Glasgow Pro Wrestling Asylum, that's right. where, obviously, I best, so, that, with the coaches were Jack Jester, Red Lightning, uh, Lionheart, BT Gun and Wolfgang, Wolfgang's in the WWE, uh, so we, I went there obviously, it's like an eight week course, and I just I just hit the ground running man, I, I smashed it, I was, uh, didn't look back, and then after that and also, like, once you went into the main class, you went for the year eight week course at the main class, so for the day I went into the main class, I didn't miss it. I went to like 64 straight sessions, or like doing four sessions a week, no I mean I was just dedicated, I just wanted to do it so much, and obviously eventually I got my debut and stuff like that, it was just, it was just meant to be, you know what so I mean? So you knew as soon as you were in that, this is it. Ah, it was no offence to anybody in the class. It would, there was only really me left, you know what I mean? Fuck him. You know what I mean? But there was only no, really me left in one arboy, Sam Barber, for the class that I was in. So kind of proves the class of 20, there was only two left. It kind of proves that I could just tell that I'm better than these people that are doing this. Like, faster. Like, I used to do, like, it sounds daft and all, because like, it probably frowned upon saying this, but like, all this stuff I used to do as a wee guy when me and my cousins would take all the matrices and we'd put them in the backs and we'd do all these wrestling moves to each other. It was all just the same, but you just need to learn how to... Technically do it. Technically like, do it. Like, yeah, like, you're not landing on a matrix, you're landing on fucking plywood that's got a wee bit of fucking covering mm-hmm. it and you obviously learn how to... Is it so? Is it so? Ah, you'll see that's the thing. People think, right, people think wrestling's like, fake, isn't it? Like, Everything's pure. We don't hit each other and like right, but it's no right. That, right oh, spoiler alert, right? That the outcome's a real right. It's predetermined, right? The outcome's a real right. But see, what? See, <laughs> see, actual, like, you actually are hitting each other. You're doing all the moves, and actually, and see, like, so when you're t- got to training, like, see, the way I like to put it is, see, you know, you get Thai boxers, 
that go out and kick fuck out of trees. Mm-hmm. That I would never do that in my life, right? right? But they're obviously doing that for a reason, so that their shins get yeah, pulled. The man what, roller they, hangs so and I'm shit. Getting into, I'm getting into training to get flung about this ring and we'd get hit in these certain ways, so that when I go and date in a show, it's no hurting me, you know what I mean? Right. Keep going. So I'm not getting hurt still, but I'll probably not get hurt until the morning when I wake up my adrenaline and all right. that's gone. And that's what it's me, that's what I see is. So people think it's fake because but end of the day we tell you it's no it's entertainment purposes, you right. know what I mean? It's no fucking well, yeah, it's, not a big, it's not a big conspiracy. Right. They changed yeah. their name, didn't they? Fucking World exactly. Wrestling Entertainment. Right. That was because I lost it, but that was because I bet in like, the sport betting. If they were written in a real sport, they obviously couldn't be Betted on or something like that because sport betting was now allowed in America. It's only allowed uh, now. Aye, aye. Ah, that's crazy. That's mad. Aye. I didn't know that. Um, There's a lot of states that still you're not allowed again. Aye, 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 at all, isn't it? Um, but obviously, you're saying then you get into wrestling, you've done the training and that. Which, who, do you remember your first match? Yeah, I do remember my first match speaking to the boy, obviously, Sam Barber was talking aye. about. Uh, so, the first match was technically a battle royal, obviously, but we'll, obviously we'll count it to a real match. So, aye, aye. I started, uh, it was August, I get into that main class I was talking about, and then my first match was in February, the, de- the Battle Royal, obviously, so there's only like four months to debut, which obviously would have probably took longer if it wasn't the school hadn't just opened, so they're obviously trying to get people out there to try uh, and yeah. show people, or oh, you can you come here, you can get yourself on shows, not obviously a bit of promoting, uh, you know what uh, I mean? But uh, obviously, uh, luckily, the guys, they're only putting anybody to shave, just maybe no quite ready to do that. Sort of if it was, uh, if uh, it was uh, an, uh, if we at our school, they'd have left us a bit longer, but obviously, they didn't really have the the chance to do it. Well, they could have, but it's one of the ones. You want to make money, let's be honest. I would have done the same myself. No, I mean. uh, so it's one of the ones, obviously, four months later than the Battle Royal, but then after the Battle Royal, we cut a, a, a bit, an arm in for two later. I mean, this boy Sam Barber got in it like a kind of few things because basically we were the two guys that were like, selling the most tickets, Aye. so we were putting the twos against each other, obviously. Get the crowd in. Uh, obviously, we, I wouldn't even say the twos were the best. There was a lot at that time, and all we were all quite very. Very new, so there was uh, about five or green, six. There green. was a lot of five. So, there was about five or sixes that you could have probably said that was the best. Cause I said I was the best. Sam Barber, I believe CS Rose was no there anymore, but he was really good. Uh, I believe Kev Ez, Evans, uh, there was big flex and all. He was like a seven foot giant. He could have been amazing, but he was an arsehole. So he uh, <laughs> was just, he just, just, then he wasn't it. Like, he was because he's a forty year old man, so he wasn't just invested like everybody uh, else was. Yeah, he's he's not, not, he's just one of he he's an old guy, just <laughs> couldn't be arsed anyway, and he's done uh, shit, not, I mean, he's obviously like to just get in and wrestle, so he's one of the ones, I'm no saying that any, but just because we, me and him sold the most tickets, we end up doing the first ever all student main event kind yeah, of thing, I mean, just stuff like that, which was class, not I mean. I was wanting to ask you about it, see, in that first fight, did you have like, yeah, now what you did now, like the tracky and all that, did you have all that worked out before it or did you just I go well, obviously and wrestle well, right, So this is actually a funny thing, right? See when I wanted to do a wrestler, be a wrestler right? obviously I've always, so I've always been at a wrestling, so I've always known you need me a character, you need to do this and that, right? Aye. So obviously, like, Ravy Davy is who I'm on, right? It's no, it's no a character. <laughs> it's not right? a guy. I don't, I don't, right? So obviously, I didn't, I wasn't getting up and suggesting being Ravy Davy. I had this thing in my head, oh, I want to be Callum Davy, my name's Dave McCallum, right? So but put it back, I was like, obviously, Sean Michael said his name's actually Michael Sean, not just one pure hink, not obviously, favourite wrestler, not let's do what he's done. So I was like, I'll call myself Callum Davidson, the superior Scotsman, the best Scottish wrestler that I've been, because obviously, Drew just be like, like, it was just before Drew had went to ICW, like, no, I don't know, but basically, I was like, in my head, I wasn't obviously. Like my head was lost, so Drew's failed, straw the paper and never made dinner corner with time all these kind of things. Obviously, just because I was just a pure big egotistical corner. Obviously, <laughs> I said, obviously I said these things are all new on Twitter. I realised that Drew is obviously known to be a double double two time WWE world champion. Roddy the paper was one of the most legendary wrestlers. It was just me like a, a hang for the gimmick, not even say less mad uh, team, the superior uh, Scotsman. That's what I was to going get the for. Fans against you, so uh, that uh, guy. But should no, but obviously I suggested it. Not mean the lavy top of me. That's shit. I got sorry. That fuck's sake, man. And like, why did you? Just be Ravy Davy. I was like, What do you mean? Like, I don't want to be a character. I'm like, Well, you're right. You are a character. <laughs> you know, it's like, and it's like, like, uh, like, I get what you mean. I'm a character, but you don't need to make like that's just me. That's like, you need to make it well. Like, all the best wrestlers are just basically themselves turned up. Themselves turned up. Like, like Sean Michaels, Stone Cold, Michaels, yeah. Stone Cold Hulk Hogan, yeah. all these guys. Not yeah. I mean, they're all just, just themselves like turned up. Yeah. 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 react, you're fucking yourself. Yeah. 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 Just be an exaggerated version. Well, that's, that's the one. I think it's that's always murder. See, see when people try to tell me in wrestling how an Ed would act, and I'm like, Listen, what? <laughs> I've lived it, baby. What do you mean, mate? No, I'm going to tell you how to make babies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, look, so you're like, what are you talking about, mate? No, I mean, obviously, that's what I'm saying, so. Where were we? Sorry. I just talking about ICW, <laughs> but ADHD, mate, I've seen a video. ADHD, sorry. See, see, when you were in ICW, do you remember Triple H coming there? Did you get to meet him in that? Mind that, see, the, the, he came out in ICW? Aye, aye. Were you there? Did so, you, did aye, you? Aye, so basically, I've got a good funny story about it. So basically, obviously, I say I'm pure confident, not I mean, never shy. Not, like, so, the amount of times that I've 
went to people that are famous, not like that. One time Paul Heyman was at shows, not we end up all fucking going back to meet him. No, I was like kind of right up at the front door, like let's just fucking jump in and meet him. Not when you see him, not you know, uh, stuff like that. That's why, no, that's why with Triple H, man. I was like, he's right, he's coming. Like obviously, so the story was obviously. Uh, in, we- in Wales and Cardiff at Tramshed we're doing a show WWE got a show only that night we're doing one during the day obviously so we're no clashing clashing yeah. obviously why I think the WWE deal with us was coming into effects and not as yeah. well so they've spoke about it obviously that somebody's like ah, Triple H is coming to the show like, <laughs> 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 Aye, no sound me aye right fuck's sake you? my name's David no dafty fuck's sake <laughs> 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 like, I just cannot believe that but obviously they're all saying I'm like the roof is coming I mean they you obviously think what you've got to say, you know what's on my head like, mate, what's happening Trips? No, I mean, <laughs> what's <laughs> happening Trips? And he's saying to him, right, obviously, right, so <laughs> coming away, getting ready, you know, I build myself up, right, he's came, he's obviously, guy's the same size as me, I'm a, actually, I was looking down at Triple H, mate, no, but I, you know, you? I'm, I'm a wee bit bigger than him, right, mate, mate really? but he's that size, uh, mate, he's uh, a house, obviously, he's got his wee lifts, not, and he's boots in it, and obviously, I'm always wearing my wee ones, my bubbles, so I've got my lifts in my shoes, not, you know, <laughs> 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 Maybe if we're in the ring, not yeah. <laughs> uh, But so, obviously, I was looking to know that, and it's just that way. Shat it. Oh, oh, I was like, oh, no, no, no. Hello, mate. Yeah, it's good to meet you, mate. I'm a big fan, yeah. with respect all your work. No, I'm actually, uh, I work on myself, all that stuff. No, I mean, it's like, nice to meet you, know, I'm Paul. Yeah. Like, Call me Paul. Fuck this man, no, you know, he's like, cause that way I know my head, like, I was just pure, I've heard, like, you've heard all the stories about like, Vince Mantle, he's just, that way, like, them. just being memorable, always make them, but remember, yeah, I said, the rest, always get yourself over, so I was pure choking to say, I just shat myself, man, I just uh, like, mate, do you know, that's that way I know, but you need to make, so if I end up saying what's happening, tips, and he, he doesn't goes, understand me, you know, what would you talk about, no, and he's like, yeah, so just that way I came in my head at the time, but I was, that is one of my biggest regrets, I feel I just should have said that, he might remember you as the respectable young man he met in Scotland. Uh, he's, he's millions of respect uh, young yeah. every single day mate no, I mean, uh, that's so chance. crazy so aye because obviously WWE got that I was only after him I know I, I followed well, yeah. him mate. I, like, one Oof. or two matches after him mate no, I mean fucking like, brutal man mate the, uh, the pop when he came uh, out was crazy it's, it's funny no, but it's funny because it's obviously that way it's like I feel the way pops like Trip H and like either like, they all had the, your reaction who, who, who they all dressed up as Trip H and the same and then obviously Trip H actually comes in and these music hits and they're like I need ball and then he actually goes, ah! It's crazy, but need me wonder, know what I mean? He's like a pure superstar, man. Aye. <laughs> they all had your exact reaction, like, no, fuck off. Even when they announced him, uh, everyone's like, ah, I need to blow Who is he's dressed up? <laughs> aye, even when you look Pete Dunne with these mad t- UK titles, I was still like, nah, mate. I like, still don't mate. believe it. To be fair, I was the same, no, I'm just like, sure. Aye. Yeah. It's like, nah, it's not like, mate, he's actually coming. He's like, aye, I <laughs> no believe in anything. Ah, yeah. no, ah, yeah, that's not so a joke. Yeah, yeah, that's always bad. Everybody's always trying to bad. Me up there, ah, not that's, 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 that's would have been a quite a good one. No, everybody's running about Triple H. Someone clean the place up. No, <laughs> clean the place up. See, obviously, fucking Triple H. I seen. It depends if you want to tell the story or no. So obviously I seen somebody ask you a question on TikTok and it came as a surprise to me. This is a childhood hero of mine. My mm. first ever uh, MSN ID was actually even our 619, right? Oh, <laughs> so I, you get asked who the biggest dick you're in. post postcode. <laughs> 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 uh, but uh, you got asked who the biggest dick you've ever met in wrestling is and I could not believe you said Rey Mysterio. Can you tell us why not, mate? Uh, well, except for the fact, obviously, that Heavy ruined wrestling for me when I was a wee guy, you know what I mean? Because obviously I beat the big show and, and the great Cali, you know that, and it made me think to myself, oh, no, man, maybe the people will tell me this thing is actually telling the truth. And I'm, I'm the one that's fucking stupid, you <laughs> know what I mean? Uh, but I fell enough, I thought, I mean, the bull daddy grail died, how to date, I fell understood, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, my man. <laughs> uh, but uh, what was I saying there? So I, Ray Mysterio, right, basically, I've not got to name names or which show it is, I'm sure if you fucking do research, you'll be able to fucking find it, which show, you know what I mean? I'm not going to put anybody's name out, but it was me who's dealing that's why I think he's a dick. Uh, basically, big show. Uh, his music's playing. One of the up and coming wrestlers who's new at WWE or this stuff is a bit metaversum, right? Uh, Rey Mysterio's music's played. Full music's played. No showed up. Not. I mean, I was like, what the fuck is he? Not. I mean, so obviously I'm quite young and I've got sent to go and get him. Ran up, chapped his door. He's just sitting the way I'm sitting now, getting ready. Just like seriously, like, you serious, mate? <laughs> You because obviously I'm not going to get into the facts or figures and that. But the guy was on the guy was earning a thousand times more than I was earning. Aye. aye. No, I mean, genuinely, aye. genuinely was he his figures what I earned I earned 
what he go three figures onto the back. Aye, Literally, aye, yeah, I was aye. fucking ready for my spot. No, I, mean, I was right out there. Ready to take some zeros aye. off him. Well, not even that. I'm <laughs> talking about be a professional. But aye, 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 he's aye, aye. he's cause he's thinking he's fucking Billy Big Boss because he's been at WWE and all mm-hmm. that. And he's fucking think no, I, I can just try this a wee shite hole. I don't need to treat this or this. No, I mean this is eleven thousand seat venue, but they've no soul to it. No, I mean, it's only six thousand. That's fucking big tears. But at the end of the day, no, I mean that's fucking that's everything. There's no, that's so that's so WrestleMania. At the end of he's just coming in and fucking treating us like we're assholes. No, that's what I see. I seen it. So but obviously I've came up to him and I was like, what's happening, mate? Obviously your your music's playing again, you've missed your cue no that. Hey, I've been told to come up and get you coming. He's like, ha, two seconds, dude. And I was like, what mate? No, 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 no. Like, like he's obviously trying to get his gloves on. I was like, I'll hold your mask, mate. You get a gloves on, but he's obviously thinking I'm being like some me mark that, and like obviously I'm wanting to touch Rey Mysterio's mask. Oh. So he's very catty. Nah, brother, it's all right. And I was like, mate, I'm no, I'm no asking. I'm telling you, mate, I'm no, I'm no. I don't want to hold your stupid mask. I'm trying to fucking get you to be where we are meant to be. You know? <laughs> he's just looked at me, obviously, kind of realised the situation. I'll be t- every time. <laughs> he's right tiny, is he? Uh, not is quite. It, I thought he was going to be. But anyway. He's bigger than I thought he'd be in Henry, you know what I mean? You get uh, it. Aye. Aye. Aye, that's that's weird, weird, it? Because Triple H is smaller and he's taller than you thought. Aye, aye. I, no, I think the Rey Mysterio is, I don't think they obviously, like, obviously all the other wrestlers try to make themselves bigger, I don't think he actually tries to make himself bigger. He's probably just well, he's normal shoe size aye, and he's right. no you get me, no, I mean, he's probably just, so the size that he was, I was like, oh fuck, he's aye. actually probably, about 5'9 or whatever his height is, you know what I mean? Aye. But that is, so that's why I'm so obviously I was just pure rage about that. And that's stuck me. It just made me think, like, why did they need to, like, you know, as you said, like, everybody thinks that, like, you would I think he'd, I thought he would have been a nice I guy, you know what I mean? Day, just like, day, we eat plucky under the uh, yeah, just that, and it's just, It just makes maybe I was right, maybe he didn't hear his music, maybe all this. There's also, <laughs> Plain, a, there's also Do you think he would have missed it in WWE? Definitely. Nah, definitely nah. Not, I mean, nah, you were right, that, no, there's obviously many things that I'm not going to go into detail, you uh, know what I mean? But that's just that. The, re- and the reason I just, I just think he came in and thought he was Billy Big Boys, obviously, and it, like. I just think at all there's a lot of guys and all that heavy loved them like yourself didn't they were mm-hmm. like F- ah, that's fucking shit you know what I mean there's like six thousand clips plus as well when obviously he was like a champion that was me like I was 12, 13 that's me going through my rebellious stage and I was like, I'm like even though obviously they tell people like this, and I'm like cheering all the heels, not my husband. I'm loving like Fit Finley and all that. Aye, all the kids are just loving me. I'm into that stuff, man. Big JBL. You know, I'm, <laughs> loving all, I'm loving all the bad guys. Aye, like, aye, aye, even John Cena was a heel, and all I was, oh, I had the John Cena album, everything, mate. Thug and all, man. This is basically Thug and all. I seen that day my MC when I came out to the ring, not because of John Cena, obviously, used to that. I to ring, mate. So he did. Love it, man. And Road Dog, obviously, not mean. But I, that's so that that's what I'm saying. So that's basically I the Rey Mysterio. He's a dick. But me, see another. That's it. Other side of the coin, I, I didn't see the answer to this. I don't know if you get asked this. Who is like somebody you've maybe met that you're like, fuck, they were so sound, and maybe Aye. they didn't even need to be? Do you know what I mean? Uh, is there anybody? Well, the Godfather's told me if I'm ever in Vegas, I've got a all access past these strip club, not oh, I mean, so. Oh, no, but we don't have to wear Hall of Fame ring, not that, mate. Not I mean, so that was good. Uh, That's class. RVD watched my match when I done the thing with Abraham, the half the balcony, and it was like apparently pure buzzing off it backstage, Aye. not, and then obviously, um, we spent a lot of time together, me and Rob and damn, uh, just Dean, hanging Dean about. Dean what? Aye, just <laughs> not coming. <laughs> <man, laughs> no, no coming, man. <laughs> not with me, RVD. Uh, X Pack was sound, you know what I mean? But it was a bit addicted to other people, which was quite funny, you know what I mean? Which I thought was. It's alright if it's not happening to you. I know, it's money. I think that's even worse, to be honest. You know what I mean? You're probably joining me. These cuts are fucking bums in here, When we got to WWE, bro. Who else? How did you meet the Godfather? Like he, God, he was he... on a show. He was on a. He was on a. Did he, he get booked? Sh- ah, he got booked. He was booked for like a SWA show today. At Godfather and Papa Shango in a Royal Rumble. Aye, I mean, and obviously ICW like, just like Godfather's in two. Obviously, let's get Godfather. Aye. And they had like a gimmick with one of the wrestlers. DCT was like doing the international sex hero gimmick. So he was like a mad shagger gimmick. So obviously, let's get Godfather to endorse some wee hoes. Not I mean obviously. Aye, like, aye. Cool. Aye, but that's see, see, even after, uh, obviously. In fact, funny thing about what goes forward, right? I see when he came out of the garage, mate, the first thing he said is like, damn, that's a whole lot of white folk. <laughs> 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 mate, he class. does seem like a pure sound oh, guy. Mate, no, he is a sound guy. He hung about with Undertaker, like, he's good pals with Undertaker. Aye, best pals with Undertaker, yeah. I mean, Undertaker, best pals. Uh, Undertaker, but if you're watching, mate, just jump on. Give mm-hmm. Joseph an email. <laughs> nah, I'd, I'd rather get the Godfather on, mate. Look at that. Best guy I've ever mate, met. If, I could get, if we could get the fucking Godfather, he's massive, but I mean. Ah, he's mate, he's massive, but six foot five, mate. Six foot six, man. Huge guy, huge guy. But well, obviously, we look Papa Shango. I don't know if you know Papa Shango. Ah, yeah, he was yeah, like fucking yeah. the big scary. He was big, but he's, and he always managed to get yourself heavy over. Like, ah, but like, he was never the biggest star. Uh, 
but he was the only big name uh, as you're saying he had his place on the card didn't he like, like, that, there was fair dues he's not going to give you a fucking Brett Hart or Michael's 60 minute thing but there's a place for him on that uh, especially during the Attitude Era uh, when it was just sex and all that. so obviously the Godfather is three big parts in the Attitude Era was being part of the Nation of Domination which was the faction that helped uh, springboard the rock uh, the bigger things uh, then he had obviously the whole train the Godfather gimmick where he's obviously going to put like a mad uh, pimp just a <laughs> pimp 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 G, yeah. stoned all the time know what I mean, <laughs> I mean uh, roll a fatty for the big pimp dad <laughs> the, the, the big pimp dad you know uh, fuck sakes I don't know I take it before that's what I see that's the ADHD see my brain's gone too fast so I'm you're thinking about what you're saying I think I might have it by the way because see the amount of times when I'm wrestling I'm doing promos and all that man I fucking end up going I'm about to say something I just go like it all gets mixed up when it's coming out there don't it but I say that's Matt so I end up just going and that's actually the worst thing you could do you know what I mean I just stop probably but anyway so what I was saying I saw he done that and obviously it was the the godfather and then after that it was actually in right two cents so not mean that gimmick that was like the whole other Aye, the other side didn't know what I mean that's swing funny, I, was, I was perfect no, I mean I used to hate the right to the centre as we got it's class you've met him but and he's actual turned out to be oh, a pure sound kind of normal man no, no, bad way, but I never ever thought to myself that I'd ever met the God first I never even thought to myself wait he'd be would like he'd be uh, yeah, sound kind of as you know just like, that way whereas obviously you think about all the big superstars not you do think to yourself how would he be how would he be how would he be Chris Jericho's heavy brand now he's backstage he's actually heavy class to be fair I thought he would be he seems like he could be a dick but that's because he's a good heel but you know what I mean but it's part of the demands he probably could be I think it's just straight away we get in because we helped out with the show and stuff like that so I think it was just that fact he's obviously great folk with people I uh, help him with not I mean uh, some big names but I know like Chris Jericho for triple mate, that's H. what I'm always saying like, see people are like that with football players like oh my god there's fucking last like I mean see if I seen like Stone Cold uh, that's the only mate, type of pe- people that I'd see that I'd probably shit like shit myself I'd be like what the fuck is they, like, they don't seem like real people don't they because uh, they're well, in well, America wait, plus and obviously uh, like, they're all they are all like six foot four and six uh, foot five so mate, that's like see because of what it is that uh, it's, like, it's a pure they've got a mad presence like a football player uh, just like a fit cunt do you uh, know what I mean you've got a mad See, obviously, all the basketball players in America and the NBA, you know, I'd imagine it'd be like that with them because they're, they're seven they're huge, mate. Ah, they're all definitely. larger than life, mm-hmm. mate. I mean, no offence to most football. Most football players are wee guys. Ah, they're not boring, mate. They're not boring, I know. I don't know, obviously. I, don't, like, I hung about with a few of them at Sanction. It was actually quite some night, to be fair. They were all brand new, but that's because I was just doing the middle of the dance floor, dancing. Ah, right. not mean, I, I was getting the energy out of them. Not mean, ah, there was a lot of people that were just pals of pals there that were definitely just look, looking at the side, like, oh, look at him, he's going on dancing about. And then, obviously, you could tell after about half an hour, like, Kevin Kyle and his miss, he's not dancing about me in the middle of the dance floor. Uh, they're all like, ah, oh shit, maybe we should be doing that. Maybe that's <laughs> how you become pals with people instead of fucking sitting at the same house. No, 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 no one to embarrass yourself so that then nobody talks about it. There's one of the ones. Like, in order for fucking. They'll say, well, I'm embarrassed myself, but people probably go, like, I just see that kind of dance floor. He's fucking some mm-hmm. laughing, wouldn't he? That's the way I, no, I mean, but anyway. Just love your life, innit? After that, yeah, what we talk about. <laughs> I, what what we talk see, about. See, just obviously, off the back of your wrestling and all that, obviously you've done heavy well, but you said to me, like, you actually work sort of you got a bit of fame before you even went into wrestling just for like fucking it was like Facebook and stuff aye, aye, so like the first ever video I've ever, ever done was uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it but I basically there's wee bowlers outside my bit in Drummond Square Bristol and I've ended up opening the window and I've been like oh I'm on a night shift aye. Aye. slammed it man I've got aye. millions of views man before I ever before I was even into wrestling that hundreds of people seen that people that will recognise me for that but it wasn't a pure mental as I said mm-hmm. uh, and then obviously I get into wrestling and I just I always had that thing about trying to get viral. Not the first time I actually went viral was like, so I hadn't rest for the match yet. I'd had that wee hang for the, I had that wee hang for the, the, the school. No, the, the I will hold on the night shift video. I had the hang for oh, that. Right, I had yeah. the hang for that hold on the night shift video, which was a bit fame. I had hundreds of views, not for it. But then obviously. I got into the wrestling, so I made this page Ravy David the Fresh Prince of the Royal Square. Obviously, <laughs> that was my character, and that and to obviously get people to. That's where my wrestling was got to be. Aye. So then, eventually, I've started getting like wee spots here and there. Nice job. I'm not getting the wrestle, but they wanted me to do Ravy David, the Raven Report, off of the scheme for the scheme, like the and Dean things for the wrestling. That. So while I was doing that, so obviously right, this is before I ever wrestled that. So in my head, right, this wee part I've been getting just because obviously they're a wrestling company and need as much content as they can, right? They've obviously gave me this as an afterthought, right? No, you're not fuck. But in my head, this is the most important thing on the show. <laughs> so, so I'm going That's holiday. a good way to be, no, but, but so I'm going holiday to Amsterdam, right? And I'm like to myself, right, I'm going holiday to Amsterdam, I'm going to miss this show. I need to 
film something so that the fans know that I'm no going to be the show. So I go to the nightclub on the Thursday night, I kid on, I'm getting mad, you know, I'm, I'm here to maybe meet the wrestlers, kind of wrestlers with the drink, I'll get interviews and that with them. Right, just knowing for it, but the next day in Amsterdam, I was just done a video, boom, like that, oh no, where am I, fuck, I've woke up steaming, not where the fuck am I, man? And I end up, I'm like, I'm in Amsterdam, oh shit, bastard, man. Aye. So you can, at the end of the video, you can actually see my missus laughing, you can hear her, not, not, I mean, you can see me going like that, not, obviously, this is fucking me exposing myself, but fuck it. Mate, that video looks so real, <laughs> but Aye, it does, that, mate, it does. probably that's how it got so big, because like, because in my head, but I'm this is this in my Aye. head. I'm, this is the most important thing. ICW only even got to show this video, right? But in my head, this is the most important thing about this ICW. Every show's gonna be worried Sunday. and all that. Aye, Aye so I've never done in my head, right? But in my head, I'm only doing this for the wrestling crowd. I don't think. So the next day, I've went, I woke up, man. It's fucking everywhere. Every fucking place is like shared. That everybody's like sending me videos. Like you're right, no. I, people think this is real, no. I'm like, shit. Cause we're in too deep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, fuck, man. It's like, can he obviously come clean? Not now. You get like CNN, Greece, CNN, Australia. Everybody, what? Everybody, no way. All these mad hell. Amsterdam place. Everybody contact my phone was blown. That's the first time my phone ever like, blew up. Not <laughs> like, a few that times. That's crazy. Mate. Men told me doing all these interviews. Every right, Mess, took my message. I was taking my message away for a birthday. To be fair, for the weekend in Amsterdam, ruined her birthday. Still ruined you. Know what I mean? She's eighteen. <laughs> no, I mean, so she's obviously. She's getting, she was pissed off to be fair to me out there tenfold, you know what I mean? But obviously, so that's what happened with that, obviously, right? But as I said, all these different things, man, lad, babe, everywhere contacted me, like I said, man. And then that's when it kind of go. Really? Obviously, that's when I came back, ICW, all that, is right, you fucking need to capitalise on this, you know what I mean? The other place, like, I was starting to get bookings down in England and places that like, I'd fucking oh, man. class in it. one, it just shows you, mate, just one, one video, video can I actually know, change everything. No, I've ended up being on the, I've been on channel one, two, three, four, and five because of that video. So, uh, so Jinx, shit, that I think that's a, a bit of luck involved in that, I know, do you know what I mean? For that, that I mean, to go so hang with. That's what I was, that's the thing I say about see videos that go viral right now, see the videos that see if you sit and think about a video, pure put thought and effort into it, you're going to get 17 views, mate, in two likes. You always see that, you, mate. See if you do something where you're sitting with your pal, man, you go, ah, flick a fucking, a match or something, I'm going to smack some of the side of head, man, it'll go for about 2 million Aye, views, 500,000 likes, man, you'll be like, what the it's, fuck, it's, man? It's like people can sense it's natural, isn't it? Aye, and they can definitely. sense when you've over-prepared for it. Aye, with that, that video, obviously, I, I probably did seem natural because because I wasn't even hanging about. I'm just like, I need to do this. I've just done it, no, I mean, obviously. And I mean, even when I watch, yeah. sometimes I maybe watch it now and I go, fucking then I'll remember. Because it <laughs> looks so, <laughs> mate, it looks, see if you just showed something that's that, that had me idea, it looks it's, real. It's, 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 that was technically my first wrestling storyline. Having ah. to keep that, having to tell people that that was real. Because I'm out of people that ask, no, I just say to people, mate, fucking, lad, if it depends, it depends, it depends how they ask me. See if they ask me and they're pure overjoyed about it. Buzzing about it, me, yeah. love that fucking story. I'm not going to fucking, I'm not going to turn around and go, ah, no, mate, it's actually me and your mother buying your presents for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, but I'm not going to do that to them. I'm going to be like, ah, right. I obviously done that, mate. You know what it's like? Oh, fucking man. I'm after that. I'm always going to try and, like, downplay like it could because it technically could happen it didn't it not I mean, it couldn't, like, like why a day somebody's like oh so you just happen to have your ID on you I because I, I, I've got a bit of a baby face so I need to take my passport out because I want to get to fucking places <laughs> what I mean? pure, pure player well, all, because, all because you are only 17 him, but you actually look 44 not I mean or you are fucking you get us all because Aye. you mate you are si you're 17 you've got your big bras I don't know man. I, I, I was meant to be funny there but I didn't <laughs> fucking keep was... it in anyway but, but you know what I mean I know it was funny but I felt like I was just like targeting a woman there not so it's either if they're right into it or if they'll just try to say it definitely it couldn't happen but if it's just something normal just asking it's like no I mean uh, basically that's my first aye. reason so that kind of thing not I mean. aye. but then obviously you done that video and then oh, you were oh, wrestling in that a while and then you go on TikTok and then you've went massive on TikTok now. Like, well, I did have a couple of things. Why, once that happened, obviously I started just as like, I need to keep that went good. I need to keep, keep the, the content. content. So that's what I'm saying. I was like, getting heavy hitting some misses. I was lucky and all, man. There was this mad guy that he done one of the mad social media pages on Facebook and he somehow got himself a million and a half hours, right? And he was just a mad steamer for a cold, right? Uh, and right, so he loved right. all my videos and then I ended up, ended up talking to me. So I'd just be like, I didn't make shit on any videos. Aye. Uh, <laughs> so he'd always do good, you know what I mean? Yeah, but eventually I think he got to jail one. <laughs> 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 and guys, eventually I stopped voting. 
actually did stop post on Facebook because that guy got to jail and I'd post videos and they wouldn't days good, not mean the I see, you just that stopped. Is, but that's what it is, you end up getting fucking. Plus, I know, obviously, no, I end up fucking, not just that, I end up right depressed, no, I think I was a mad fucking rock star for all the shit that was happening, no, I'm just pure, no, I probably needed a way for the social media for a bit more. That's what I was saying, so that's how I, so you're about to mention the TikTok, that's what I was saying, so for a while, man. As I say, I was maybe a bit depressed, no, and I was just like, oh man, maybe I'm not gone late for a while ago. I was like, because mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to work ninety five. I don't really want to work on all the joys. I say I want to make a full time living through wrestling or through maybe the David David character. I don't know what I was saying, maybe a bit piping, but fuck it, that's, that is the goal. I want to maybe mm-hmm. do my Twitch stream and my wrestling, run this wrestling company. I've got make my wee bits of money. I have TikTok. All that adds up to I make a wee fucking a wage, wage out every month. No, I mean that I can live off a of, go a wee holiday or two a year, all that kind of stuff. No, I mean, do you, how long you had TikTok? Well, uh, I've had TikTok top base since it started right but I know oh. but I tried to but I tried to post stuff on it when it first came out and they were only hitting it was all mm. it was different back then wasn't it uh, all right. it was nothing really funny so not expanded now, it it? Eye. but then one day I started like, obviously I was checking I kept checking and that cause I, it was about August 2019 maybe a wee bit before I think maybe summer 2019 I got it right and obviously I was just all the dance I posted a couple of videos not I mean I was even trying to like, follow the trends and all that not I mean so I was like uh, yeah, just using, using the music even like stuff that was popular so, like, like, I don't even watch American football right? but Tom Brady like went to the, the a team and then that Antonio Brown joined the team and then a couple of days later he left the team and I done a video like fucking Tom Brady waving to fucking Antonio Brown uh, no, I tried to hop I tried to do all that and it just wasn't working right so I left it but I kept checking and not I started noticing the videos were coming on they were funny people doing characters all these kind of things and I was like ah, fuck eh I was like, I could maybe do it. So I, was, I got the the whole I'm on the night shift video mm-hmm. and I posted that. On TikTok? I on TikTok and I got like fucking 300,000 <laughs> views. And I was like, ah, we've got something. Play the hits, bro. We've play the hits. <laughs> so I started, but, uh, but as I was doing that, I'm also making videos. I'm starting to notice like, the trends, how to do it. So I'm making wee videos here Getting and there. And better, all it? my videos I was doing, I was posting, it was all my old hits that were doing it. And eventually, right, I don't know if you've seen the guy shout out to him he's hilarious I think he's somebody darn meeting on the uh, TikTok ah, I've seen him. big I've man he's that. hilarious right? he is funny as fuck I think he's somebody but he done a video where he's like what would you do if I broke into your house <laughs> right? and he's wearing a wee pair of ankle socks so I've just <laughs> done, like, I mean, if you came out of my view brought him out so I'd ask you where the fuck's all off your socks mate <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously just in that one get hits not and that started Aye. doing good and I was like right you learned maybe people like mm. me slaughtering them right so I started <laughs> slaughtering people right but obviously people would start up reporting me and I obviously wasn't feel just randomly slaughtered I wouldn't have been a bully but just people, gone sourcing comes I back know, I know <laughs> I I I looked for that I was going all before I done it I could tell he was all doing a laugh I watched the full video and all he's saying that he's oh I'm actually a locksmith so I, so I was like right cool that's funny not me all that stuff ah, so then right. I started like we guys are commenting on my stuff nah, and I was slaughtering them but because they're trying to get away just like fuck it and they're, they're my character kingdom. anyway but my character anyway like, I wouldn't like, a lot of people in wrestling like, or whatever they get totally off somebody just leave it no I mean but my character I'm an head mate at the end of the day I wouldn't like somebody get away to me the corner show that I'm mean, gonna just sit and go oh sorry mate uh, <laughs> oh, sorry mate <laughs> 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 but I think you talking to you know what I mean it's happened now that obviously I, I know man I'm not gonna start fighting with people but that's things that people say stuff to me I'm like Wait, shut the fuck up. Who do you think you're talking about? I mean, I would think I'm fucking people that know you have videos and that like, people seen it I end up just like trying and you're like mate Shut, no, I mean, shut up, I mean, If I comment something like, I know, you know they're up for it. No, Aye, I mean, that's no what I'm saying. So you end up, so obviously, I started to look slot on people, but people would report it. And Aye. I'd get banned, I'd get banned as notice. Oh, this account, it was the Ravy Dot David one, I was going to get getting banned. So that's how I eventually was like, ah, right, I need to think. So I don't want to get, I like this TikTok, it's doing good, no, I mean, I don't want to get banned, but obviously, with the idea, so I was like, ah, right, so I'm slot on people. People like that, right? I was like, ah, what, else can, what else can I do? You know what I mean? So I started scrolling through TikTok. I've noticed people love food. People are mad for food. They're fucking mental for it. Also, a wee bit, and i seen like a Gordon Ramsay video, I've seen him on TikTok, so I've put them off Freedom of Girls. reacting basically. to like, people aye. making stuff in that. Just put off Freedom of Girls like that. Rotten food reviews, not I mean, oh, aye, aye, ever. Aye. But that's the one. So I wasn't actually ready for it, right? But then TikTok, I got one, like, I made this second account, right? Because TikTok banned is not. I was like, fucking idiots, man. Yeah, and then I've. Then I've obviously got my main account back. No, I was thinking about doing Ravies Rotten Food Reviews, but I wasn't quite into it yet. No, and then they banned me, and it was they banned me that night when I was coming back from a wrestling school. And that best kebab was on. That was the place I think about doing oh, it. So oh, I was like, you know oh, what, yeah, man? Because obviously I wanted to do it on the account with me. I thought, like, you know what, man? Fuck it. I'm doing it on this account. Fuck TikTok. Like, right. fuck. He's not. Like, found the video. Woke up the next day. That account had two thousand the day before. Uh, the next day I had twelve thousand followers. Fucking hell. More than the, the account that I'd only. That oh, I'd right, yeah, yeah. So that the one that was about to get banned. Uh, right. Exactly. All that shit. And, you know, obviously it just. It went for there, not. I mean, obviously, I just started doing the food reviews, Mate. but it's gone mental. Uh, the food reviews have had like something like just with it. I done ten rotten food reviews, and like just with them, they had like three million 
views all in. Like, aye, the last right, two man. months on TikTok had something like 10 million views. Which sake, man, you think about it, like the population of Scotland twice. Aye. So everybody in Scotland watched crazy, my bro. Vid- two of my videos, basically. Aye. You know what I mean? That's, that's mental. mental when you get that aye, way from that perspective. You know what I mean? Definitely. Well, some people be like, oh, 10 million is not that much because there's obviously content no, it is, mate, it is. But just for a week, like, for somebody like me, I don't know. Not, not and that's what did you see the last... Two months. Two months. I mean, that's not about... Obviously, because they only give you two months anyway, so the other ones probably had mail gone. F- aye, before, aye, aye. If you aye. ever see the rotten food reviews, you ever went to one, right, and go to it, and you're like, that's fucking mate, all right. Some of them, man, I always make sure that's, I'm no daft, no, that's, I'm no, I don't set myself up for failure at the aye, end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, I'll make sure that I go somewhere that's got hundreds of requests, right, and right, then right. I'll go and check online, I'll check on Facebook, I'll check, no, I mean, I'll type their name into Twitter and then like, type, no, I mean, to see if it comes up and like, anybody's writing it, and usually you'll aye. find these different things, no, I mean? One star, like, that Raja, that Raja had like 200 requests, no, I mean? Aye. But bad kebab, but the best kebab, I just knew, I didn't think it was fucking called bad kebab, no, <laughs> Obviously, that one, the best kebab, I was just because I'd seen the mad thing on Twitter, like that, and I was like, my, that place must be rotten. I mean, it's about 14 it? quid for one and all. Well, that's the worst place ever. Did they? Aye, they mate, I've I've some kind of people, people keep go running in and going, fucking best kebab, my arse, and like running away. And like, it's a mad trend now, like, and uh, like, because the, the, the guy comes out and chases you, you know, like, with, with fucking mate, pull weapons. It up. Can you get a video of that? That's fucking try hilarious. Try, try, like, try and find it while we're talking. I mean, I mean, I mean, imagine you were doing a run for the game. You started. Better go and apologize. No, see. I'm going to run and go, best kebab, my arse. Ten million views. Big fucking survey. I always stay my big mate five over. He grabs him for the back. <laughs> but see you at see you at all the ones you went to. What do you think is the absolute worst? Best basketball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that way now all that I've got a soft spot for basketball. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's obviously like basketball is my baby. You know? That's where all that's where all started. Kind of thing. No, that's <laughs> never. Kind of like I'd like them to just start making good food or something. Like, so I keep going to keep them some tips. Home boys, man. We well, run a TikTok page from last night. We can start a compa- campaign. Let's get a new fucking chef into basketball. Ah, let's get a bit of basketball. Because kids are trying to sleep. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're all black. You people are in our family. Oh, that's the. Then obviously people are just trying to make. Business for the family, but then today, and I'm doing your fucking good tongue. Because if you're like, about if people are going online, no, but if people are going online and tell me that you're hanging with shit, they're going to be telling people. That. So I'm doing you a favour, coming in and telling you all these people think your food shit, right? So fucking do something about Aye. it. Aye. Fucking make your food more hanging with better. So that people all, they, all they want to do is change cunts out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, no. the best, but I think they are obviously because one of the ones they will never change to the fact but they're in the city centre, so they will always get business. But Aye. for fucking my idiots, that is like what we were talking about. But like hangs if they're either bad or heavy good, or no. pure, you pure Aye. remember Aye. them. I mean, best kebabs. Just well, there's like, people see, going and buying best kebabs now. Aye, just because they know about it. Aye, this is rotten. So yeah. I know, mate. I, I fucking warned you. We didn't put money in their pockets. Mate, it's better to be that bad. It's not what I mean. It's just the gone. Isn't it? It's like aye, people mate. are actually gone because they're making money out of it. It's crazy, isn't it? It's obviously an all that own X Factor. They always have that bad fucking And that's when every cunt watched X Factor. When you're Wagner's or your fucking. Who's that R one? Who's the woman? Cha Cha G or something? I am. Oh, but Honey Honey G. Could you, you turn that off when all the bad ones are out when it's just singing? Aye, <laughs> okay, but see, no, like, I've noticed it's so funny. See if you sit, watch like funny or uh, uh, X Factor edition, see if you back in the day when everybody watched it. See the stuff they say to them, mate. See if you, that's oh, why you can't date now because people are like, hmm, Lee Louis Walsh, like, hmm, you need to lose a few pounds. And all. <laughs> <laughs> you can never, you can never yeah, even yeah, yeah. say that to kids, I mean, and like, even if. It's just the way society shines in it. It's like everybody's so nice to each other now. It's like that nobody wants to offend anybody in that. But that it just shows that as soon as they went off it and it was all good singers, everybody's like, ah, right, we're we're fucking, we're fucking you watching that. You need to be either bad or heavy amazing Aye. to be pure noticeable, to, to recognisable. I will see I mean. if you ever see a video on social media and like that. No, I mean, if it's like a singer or something like that, it's always going to be, if it's got hundreds of views, you'll know yourself. This is either somebody who's heavy shit or somebody who's heavy good. Amazing, day. Right. You'll know yourself. You sit back, man, like, let's see, man, rendition of Bob Marley. This is going to either be fucking basically Bob Marley reincarnated. <laughs> <or fucking, laughs> it's going to be the worst thing ever. Bob Burner, Bob Burner, <laughs> Bob Burner, Bob Burner, fucking Bob the Builder, for sake, you know what I mean? Ah, yeah, sorry to interrupt, folks, but we need to cut for the adverts. Kill, kill, kill mate, no bro. worries. Guys, now, oh my goodness, we need to welcome a new sponsor on the podcast this week. I've not told you about this one, Jamie. No? No, no, no. We have actually got a sponsor who delivers, no delivers, they deliver it if you go to the shop, but they provide, is a better word, the finest sweeties available in Glasgow. No, that's not right. The, f- the finest sweeties. Do you Aye. remember that guy we met last week? 
and he gave us the no no no, no 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 they kind of sweeties bro oh, oh the shite sweeties <laughs> <laughs> confectionery we're talking about here guys Dino Sweets and Treats have kindly sponsored the podcast guys um, they're just a, a, a sweet shop a ice cream what else they've got slushies They've got all the American stuff, all the good stuff. You want to be a fucking legend in your street for Halloween, mate? Go down to Dino's, get all the American shit. Probably cost you about £900, but you'll be a legend. You'll be a legend in the streets or whatever scheme you're in. Think about it. You'll be a legend. You're, like, your picture will be up in walls and community centres and all that. So, Dino Sweets and Treats down at Canvas Lang, guys. Um, I've been going there since, for, for years. It's, a, it's an institution in Canvas Lang. So, I'd like to invite people from maybe some other areas to come down and enjoy some fine, fine swedgers. Aye, aye. You've not even been, actually. I'll be heading there straight after this, mate, to get myself some <laughs> fine, prob- fine sweets and treats. They'll probably be shut, but aye, that's true. we can wait on the opening. We'll camp out all night and just wait on the opening. Aye, definitely. Aye. So, it. aye, guys, Dino Sweets and Treats, get down there, get a set of ice cream, tell them Riley's gaff sent you. Keep 100% of your claim, Chief for Claims. If you've been hurt in a road accident that wasn't your fault, you should really talk to G4 Claims first. Unlike road accident solicitors, we don't charge you for our services, which could see you better off. To keep 100% of your compensation, have a chat with Nicole and the team. You'll be glad you did. Search online for G4 Claims. Keep 100% of your claim, G4 Claims. Right, we're back. Aye, so you're a streamer, I know. Supposedly, aye. Aye. <laughs> you that, allegedly. It's not been so proven. <laughs> no tax, man asks. <laughs> Aye, so you want to talk about that a bit? Uh, aye, well basically, right, so I've been doing the... So, right, so somebody subscribed to me last night for the third month, so that's... Because I, I made affiliate basically a week in for doing it, not mean? Which oh, did you, aye? A lot of people were telling that's me, aye, that's, that's fucking... That's really good, not mean? So I made affiliate after a week. So I've been doing it for about just over three months, because obviously that boy, he subscribed straight away before he was my first subscriber, so aye, that's... Basically, 13 weeks, something like three months, not I mean fucking my newborn baby. Uh, <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you play on it? You play clubs, do you? Yeah, so I play a lot of things, right? Uh, I play. Basically, I'm no, so I'm no good at games, right? People, uh, are, there, people are there to see me, you know what I mean? I'm no, but I, obviously, as I say, I hate saying this kind of stuff because I'm just a boy for government, right? I hate saying this stuff with like people are here to see me or this stuff. Because it sounds fucking. I've already got some size on it, but that's because obviously I get crap <laughs> needs as a baby, you know what I mean? Not because I fucking ain't <laughs> I mean, not, I don't think I'm special or nothing like that. Uh, so I don't like saying it, but like, so obviously, people do come because they're no, they're dead. If they're on my st- Twitch stream to see fucking top notch gameplay, they're in the not. wrong place. So they're obviously to see me. <laughs> Is the dynamic maybe that I've got with because I've got this English boy that I'm only mean a couple of pals in that play so I think it's probably more that obviously because they want to come along and join it Aye. so the games I play I, so as I said I'm not just trying to stick to one game I'm trying to fuck you I, I basically try to find the games that are all the group chats pop and half not I mean you're all having some laugh that evening so mm-hmm. what I play is I play uh, Grand Theft, well, I was saying that, I don't I've not played Grand Theft, I've got two months from it, I mean, but, <laughs> uh, right, so Warzone, Warzone's probably the one I get the most viewers, and that, I have FIFA, that's obviously, that's probably the one I get the most interaction in, because obviously you're getting like 11 people in pro clubs who are all watching for that full time, and they're all playing Aye. and all that, uh, then obviously I play, it. the reason I actually started Twitch, you know, I had in my mind that I was going to be the biggest fucking European NBA 2K streamer, because I fucking played <laughs> time, right, that. but, just that, that's probably not going to happen. No, I mean that is. I've no gave it. I was, I've no. I've no streamed in a while, but it's just it's no. Well, end of the day, as I said, I started this out for just a laugh or whatever, man. But you still need to. You still obviously want to be fucking I putting the effort, put man, and getting it, the things that people right. like and stuff. Like, I've always got a fan base on the Twitch now, so if they prefer me going on FIFA, they prefer me going on Warzone. Aye, you can, uh, better after that, and I know. Mm-hmm. I mean, even like play Turkey, but I'm no fucking go to camera or whatever. Aye. But that's the reason I did get into it. Become fucking the biggest. European 2K streamer and usually with goals I don't fucking give them up so easily but it was quite obvious this one was going to happen away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so I just play that for fun so that game uh, yeah. that's, no, but that's because I'm shite that's the right, at least FIFA that's like the selling point like, like, FIFA right, I've been playing FIFA for 23 years right? I'm not the best FIFA player ever but at least I'm competent no, I mean I can actually I've got the skill no, I mean even sometimes I might know be, I might be playing somebody that's a bit better than they should be beating me but I've got the know-how I've been no, I mean I can know how to grind a game out that kind of stuff and that NBA 2K we're getting smart Smashed all the time. Aye, aye, before aye. you know, halfway through the stream, you're raging or that piss. Man, aye, it's, it's no good to watch. And then yeah, exactly, because obviously the negativity is <laughs> coming off. And then instead of just having like funny part, you're probably like a fucking daft. Aye, aye, all that stuff. Right? So, but obviously, but this is quite funny because 
Now I've actually got my first technical. I've been contacted by Twitch. They want me, well, not actually Twitch, by a company that's made a game. They right. obviously want me to promote it and being like a oh. tournament and that. Right. Aye, like a competitive tournament. Aye, tournament. Aye, a competitive but tournament. No, they just, like just made this game. This game just came Aye. out. Right, the brightness of the tournament the 29th, but they've had to move it forward because football manager will be coming out. So you're thinking like Battlefield 2042. I think now that they know it was or not, but what was your one? Oh, no, it's Tennis Manager 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Tennis manager. Tennis manager. I'm going to play a bit so of tennis. Like so on the 22nd of October, uh, I don't know exactly what the time is, right? But I'm going to be in a tournament with some of the best tennis manager 2021 players in the world. Game has just been out last month, to be fair, not mean, so I don't know how. Have you played it yet? Well, I played it today. I used to the best game I've ever played. Aye, aye, aye. I can't wait for this. That's the line, anyway, Aye, aye, man. Uh, what a game, honestly, man. It, just, it <laughs> takes me back, no? I mean, the man. You did my tennis playing days at the Void Square. Me, Andy Murray, Jamie Murray, just fucking. Judy's passing balls at his mum. <laughs> so obviously the game is basically in the game you're, you're trying to become like, a tennis manager or not. Really. So you take it. I don't even know the head manager. <laughs> you, 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 you don't even start as well. No, you no, no, <laughs> right, no, so you take it a fucking like, like a youth tennis centre. Aye. Right, so there's like English one, there's like, American wage. one. So basically obviously you need to pick a, like, an academy and the one I picked was uh, an Argentine one called the Gauchos because obviously when I was younger I used to uh, jot about young like the Gauchos so that's the one I picked, Ride or Die on it. Not <laughs> no even that good, not I mean the worst wee team, like, two star reputation. Damn for you boys. Dare, fuck it, man, he starts on and I actually won the first two tournaments for oh, you know I'm actually heavy good this game even though you can't really do any input during the game or anything like that <laughs> then my, my wee woman qualified for the first <laughs> game woman. the Aussie <laughs> Open or something like that smashed in the first round and then obviously so I said I've got a woman and two guys never get to play as the two guys right only the woman but then it came up to me it's like ah, oh this guy's in the final and cause the woman's been put like do you want to like, jump in and jump in the final I was like of course man I was thinking like fucking hopefully we'll win us get fucking shagged after uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, when yeah, will yeah. you be playing that on Twitch? Uh, it'll be on Twitch on the 27th Second October, so next Friday, no, it's Friday, the Friday um, after. I don't know when this comes up, but basically the twenty second October anyway. The cool. date, sir. Yeah, I don't actually know the time, but check up my social media, and it'll be there. Because I'm definitely going to even though I think I'm terrible at the game. I'm a hundred percent going to become the next Judy Murray, and that's what's. <laughs> oh, oh baby, <laughs> what's your Twitch? Uh, uh, Twitch.tv slash ravydavid eighty four. As I said, I play Warzone, uh, FIFA, NBA two K, Grand Theft Auto, and stuff like that. More so importantly. Tune. Tennis manager, uh, tennis tennis manager. manager. <laughs> That's going to take over all. Ma magic, it'll, it'll, it'll surprise you, honestly. Hello, but me um, fucking oh. Tim Henman. <laughs> Greg Rosette's gamer. Uh, I, obviously, you're talking about like the different content you make. You do hunters of stuff, and you've just started a channel, Scheme Sports News, and you answer like alternative football questions. Scottish no, just who's questions. the best young player it might be. be Who's got the biggest dick at Aberdeen? Sort of thing. So the fact say knob, you not know I mean. Like, I know because you can hashtag knob, not mean because ah, it's an actual word. <laughs> <word. laughs> <laughs> 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 let's just go with knob for YouTube uh, algorithm reasons. Uh, so we've actually came up with our own questions. Yep. We want you to answer. Um, so I think first, basically, we'll, I'll, I'll, obviously, I know, I know, I'm just cutting. But the reason I started, obviously, the Scream Sports News is because basically, anytime TikTok ban me and stuff like that, I get pure raging. That actually, that's the one good thing about it. Not I mean the game <laughs> when they ban me, it makes me more creative. Not I mean I get pure uh, raging. I like and obviously as well because like the niches and stuff like that you're better off having like niches on TikTok so I'm trying to like divide everything up so I'm going to end up having like 17 different pages with all like different stuff on it you know what I mean but right. I, so that's why I've got Scheme Sports News to like just keep all my sports not just like obviously the, the knob stuff and that will help with like funny videos and that because obviously comedy beats all but obviously I actually just talk about sports and that aye. Aye. I feel like a scheme perspective basically. Aye. aye obviously in aye. scheme terms aye, aye. aye. for the scheme for the scheme for the scheme so the first question we've got is we can kind of all debate this or whatever Three players that prefer a soft roll to a crispy roll. Yeah, three question. players that prefer a soft roll to a crispy roll, right? Uh, Johnny Hayes for Aberdeen. <laughs> well, right? Obviously, uh, he's number one. Uh, I thought Kyogo, mate. Crispy roll, two, mm. two. Nice. I don't even think he's Japanese, mate. He eats some mad fucked Aye, up shit. I don't think a soft roll is one of the bad things. It'll be like a wee bun, not mean he'd eat like a wee bun, something like that. A soft roll squid or something. I don't think he's. Exactly, if he's like, I'm not even got a slot. If he's eating a soft roll and squid, fair do you eat a fucking squid? Not, I mean, eat it however the fuck you want. So, man. who we got? Johnny Hayes, right? Johnny Hayes, right? Uh, after that, it's probably going to be. Oh, Let's think. Is it? Is it? Um, who we got? Come on. See, I thought Ryan Christie, right? But he's gone. Well, he's, no, he's, he's not in anything uh, anywhere, so. Uh, so, you could say Mackay Steven, he's like the other oh, Ryan Christie. Oh, definitely anyway. Mackay Steven. Ah, uh, Mackay Steven, that'd be a good one, because uh, he is quite posh in that as well, not uh, so I could definitely see him get a soft bun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a soft brioche. Bat, no, a brioche <laughs> bun. Uh, uh, then who else? Who else would go? Uh, 
I think uh, what's his name? What's that boy's name? Uh, Jason Cummins for Dundee. Come dog guy. Come dog guy. No, no, no. no, yeah, no, no. no yeah, he's a wee He's not. He's definitely has like a wee soft throw. A soft throw, guy. So we got Johnny Hayes, Mackay Stephen, and who's the last one we just said? Hey, Cummins. Cummins, uh, come dog. The come dog. The come dog millionaire. Amazing. And then the next one, we've actually got a draw to do. So this is the big dick draw, everyone. So the big knob we've got a hat here. The big knob we'll, we'll, why don't, well, we'll get Davy to pick it out. So you want to hand that to Davy? Yeah, we'll so do we'll it like the balls at the end of the fucking... You look good with the fucking juggling balls, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. show, show the camera what, what team we've got. We've got Motherwell. Oh, oh. Right, the biggest dick at Motherwell. Oh, Stephen O'Donnell, I always say this. Really? Not, you know, I, the way I see it is, remember, obviously, in the Euros, right, he was getting obvious, played shite, he's first <laughs> to get, we played shite in the first game, we were slaughtering him, right, like, oh, I shouldn't even be playing. And then we played against England, and Stephen O'Donnell probably had the best game in the following time. <laughs> it just shows me that you need to have a big, massive dick. <laughs> a big dick to energy. To do that, you know what I mean? So that is how I think it's Stephen O'Donnell. <laughs> that is good Maybe research. Second place, probably Big McGabby, you know what I mean? Fucking oh. Big oh. Davis McGabby. Brother, season mate, second place. And uh, so I so you hang, you say that quite constantly there. Right. Stephen O'Donnell. Yeah, well, number one, Stephen O'Donnell, biggest Easy. banger, definitely. You can come out and do that. You have to get the slaughtered out for a full entire nation. You come out and put on the performance of your life against England. That's not I mean. a performance that, a guy. That's like a me. William yeah, Wallace. Aye, aye, that is. Man. If he had a kill, oh, no, I mean, it would be right. And William Wallace, kill. obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's what well, I'm saying. William you wouldn't even need to ask him if he had his pants on or no, not. Oh, I mean. oh, definitely no. And obviously, if you're channeling William Wallace, William Wallace, obviously, biggest dick ever to come out of Scotland. Biggest dick in the world, probably. And then Bob Marley. And then, so our last question is, um, who would win in a square go, Jim Goodwin or Callum Davidson? Oh, that's a hard one, man, that is. I think just... Oh, Callum Davidson's proved lately, isn't he, man, that he can just... I date, think Callum can, Davidson would be the type of... He can date the unexpected, you know what I mean? With Callum oh, Davidson, he expected the unexpected. So even if you think Jim David Goodwin's got to win... <laughs> I need to just get to Calm Davidson yeah, because he's getting a last minute winner. Uh, I mean, he fucking just he doesn't he's get back up with Xander Clark and with oh, Sean Rooney. You know what I mean? Jim Good wouldn't have faced him. Not I mean, but who's who's he go? Who, who's his backup? Though? Not I mean, but who's his backup? Ah, yeah, that's true, mate. That's true. Can't tell you. I sitting on playing the offence to him. They've all got me nubs. I'm going Calm Davidson. I think as well. I think Calm Davidson will go for a double leg takedown. He's that kind of guy. Not I mean, he's actually trying. I think he'd be like a good like take you down and just hold you and just ground him. Can I? Definitely, man. Cam, plus as well, obviously, Cam Davidson, that was the name, obviously, I wanted to give my gimmick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was going to say, their own superior Scotsman, two uh, double, uh, yeah, double last year. Uh, exactly, that's what I was saying. Oh. Obviously, I need to give him that one. Not in the fact, was all, I, was, I was trying to steal his name for my gimmick. <laughs> Cam <laughs> Davidson, there we go. So, obviously, you were talking earlier about your wrestling. You've got a show coming up. Do you want to talk about that? So, basically, what happened is, obviously... Uh, the Fairfield Club of Place in Govan uh, wanted me to run a wrestling show. Uh, uh, what is is my girlfriend, my fiance Georgia. Uh, she, her uncle, uh, is like the head of the committee there, and they wanted obviously I'll try to get the club to be like, like a hub again, like mm -hmm. a community uh, or a community place, space. and get people back there. So a working man's club. I'll try to get it, but obviously like, maybe about a younger generation stuff. Like that. And so they asked me to do the wrestling. Uh, obviously, I'd said no. Maybe I could get like. GPW and or somebody else that they're like, no, why don't like, you just do it? No, I mean, obviously we'll help you, we'll we'll help you with the, the setup and stuff like that. And obviously my girlfriend Georgia, she said, I was just, just go for it, let's do it. No, I mean, so obviously uh, she helped me out with a lot of stuff. No, I mean, obviously uh, just she put a lot of effort into doing all the different things that I maybe no be able to do. Just being a wee daft if you go. No, I mean, obviously <laughs> the financial side of stuff, not and like drawing stuff up. Like, uh, uh, she helped me with all these kind of things. Uh, she's to be fair, like, one of the, the the biggest reason it's happening is because uh, the the amount of effort she's put in. No, I mean, she, aye, aye. Aye, the, the amount because that's the thing. See, obviously I told all this story. No, I mean, this, I was always got to do. I say, anyway, to be fair, but like for all the stuff I've told you, uh, none of it would not have happened if I didn't meet my girlfriend. Uh, just as this was all kicking off, I met her at the start. Of it all right. Uh, I remember. I always remember I'd, I'd met her and then I'd started getting into the rest and all that stuff she was a big help when my nana was passing away all that stuff just yeah. fucking legend love yeah. it but it's not I mean uh, and what happened was uh I done a wrestling seminar right and I had basically one of these famous wrestlers Nigel McGuinness was telling you all at the end that he's like uh, 
basically if you, you whine a bit of advice you like if you don't bother getting into the relationships and wrestling it's no got to work or this kind of things like that but then it's like but see if you've got somebody that's way you the new stick by them because they understand all the shit and all that and like, obviously i was just laughing i was like they bother not i mean but it turns out he's fucking true because she does she's the only person that i imagine would be able to understand all my shit up just all, the, up all the shit do all the stuff not i mean but all, when I first met her, she was da- she was just a wee shy, she was a wee shy lass, and now she's on fucking TikTok, man, doing her own stuff. I see her on your videos sometimes, she's getting, getting fit for involved. 30, you know what I mean? I know, Aye. she's getting in, man, and all getting fit for 30, and she's fucking smashing. Do I plug her name? Plug her name? That's why we're getting fit for 30, that's her TikTok, ah, man, she's going for all that, not me especially with any ladies that he'll watch him, because uh, she's on a weight loss journey, and she's absolutely fucking smashing it, so Good go and stuff. check Show it out. Definitely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, when I first met her, she'd never done anything like that, not me, so it's one of the ones, obviously, the amount of stuff she's done for me is always good, but I'm obviously starting to rub off on her, you know what I mean? Seems good bit. balance. Aye, aye, definitely not. I mean, obviously, because she's pure shy, and I'm obviously over the top confident. <laughs> not mean that kind of stuff. Meeting the middle, yeah. Aye, aye, yin and yang, definitely. Good uh, bro. I'm the uh, white socks to her black shoes, not me. <laughs> 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 I mean, some people don't like it, not me, but you fucking, I'll always do you, you like it or you love it, maybe? Nah, yeah, um, definitely, so that's what I'm saying. So she was the big reason, obviously, she helped me get it off the ground and that. Uh, obviously, one of the reasons I wanted to come on this podcast was to obviously big up, try and get a sellout, but uh, luckily enough, uh, the weekend there, I just uh, managed to sell out, not me, 320 tickets so not me, uh, which is amazing, obviously, because one of the ones has got to be a big help to me, maybe making a full-time Aye. living out of wrestling, if I could start doing maybe a couple more a year and stuff like that. So you like to keep going, well, man? Like like I've called it Community Pro Rehearsal. I'd like, I mean, like to make it, obviously, like a promotion that, that runs maybe a couple so of different good. venues in the south side of Glasgow. Would you just, people just keep an eye on your social media? For Aye, I would. There's social media for that. I've got Community Pro Rehearsal on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. As I said, the first show's sold out, but we've got to be doing one at the end of February. Uh, so obviously keep an eye out for that. If you missed a ticket for the first one, obviously there'll be another chance to get a ticket. There's actually a competition on the Facebook page and also if you maybe want to come see it, uh, that'll be getting drawn next Friday, so check that out. You can maybe win yourself a wee family ticket. But aye, so that's one of the ones. That's something I've always, I always remember as just a wee boy. I had all my wrestling figures and all that. And I used to do like mad seasons where I'd like, have all the different belts and I'd have, them, I'd have this notepad and I'd write all the storylines and all aye. that. And I'd have everything done. It's just, it's always something I've wanted to do. I just, I think that I've always felt like, I'm, like Obviously, you can see what the different stuff I do on social media. I, I'm a bit of a creative person, and like this is what I feel like I would maybe get to be my full creative like self and like storylines and like mm-hmm. getting all my vision acted out. Not Aye. what I want, but what I see as wrestling. Ah, like, you're, you're the head, it. You're Vince McMahon here. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, quite not. I mean, I mean, never got a solid man. Face like seventy, man. What kind of steroids is it going into him, man? Um, no, 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 obviously Vince McMahon wouldn't do that. You should watch this big man. Here's the scenario. Last scenario, right? What if you start this thing? It's going well. Then you get a call. Ravy David, Vince McMahon. <laughs> Some what, boys. What, what, what are you guys say? Look, we want you to come here, start in NXT. It's one of the ones I always say. Like, I know I did say like, I, 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 my, my goals have changed, but my goals have kind of changed because it's one of the ones. I'm not, I don't want to beat myself up and think to myself. I don't want to make myself like, no well, think to myself, I need to make it to the WWE. Some, is that but, the end end goal, day, right? but at the end of the day, right? When I was a wee boy, when I was four years old, five years old, six years old, my mum passed away, all that stuff, I wasn't watching Scottish wrestling, I wasn't watching WCW, I wasn't watching fucking TNA mm-hmm. or AEW, I was watching WWE, you know what I mean? At the end of the, day, at the, end of the day, if, if I could pick it and that, because I know obviously my wee boy, not, he'd love me to get there, all Aye. that stuff, so at the end of the day, WWE is where I would want to be, but I'm not, as I said, it's You're no, not beating yourself up like, for... Like, it is technically always the goal, you know what I mean? You're not a wrestler if you don't want to go there, but I'm no... It's no, I've got other goals and all that if I achieve them, You'll I'd be, be quite happy. As, I'd be quite as happy. My life's changed now, I'm no, as I said, and that's what I'm saying, there's obviously I've not, like being in the wrestling game, like I noticed some wrestlers like ch- chasing it, obviously, like they, 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 it's a lot harder. Beat themselves up, it's, up if they don't get there. Aye, and it's one of the ones I don't judge your life I've on done that myself that, like, before I remember that team I said about the depression, no, I think that was one of the reasons, because obviously mm-hmm. I was maybe hinting to myself, oh, this probably hasn't got to happen. Well, I, I mean, this is, shit, no, I mean, obviously I, don't, I was starting to maybe think this hasn't got to happen, I think it was maybe fuck not yeah, I mean, he does a bit wasted in that fruit so I think that's that is why obviously in the day Vince McMahon phones me up like, what's happening big man what are you wanting for me what do you need not I mean, <laughs> what, tell me right now and I'll date not <laughs> nah, it's, in any given world I'll, I'll date not, I mean, I'll put 100% effort into it not, I mean. but uh, as I said what I want to do the news I want to make a full time living through wrestling and my other ventures and stuff like that hopefully build a successful company that people will enjoy coming to watch mm-hmm. not, I'm I good shows. Good, and mate. obviously as well hopefully enough that I'm not putting out on the back the 
the most important thing is to become as good a wrestler as I can and wrestle up and down the country and all the place. That's still the main goal, that's still the main focus. But uh, at the end of the day, I want to make a full time living through wrestling and it'll take mm-hmm. a bit longer, I feel like, if I just try and do through wrestling. So if I have my own like if I have my own wrestling company, I'm doing uh, shows wrestling for you gonna be wrestling on it as well? I, I obviously it's one of the ones I, I, I don't like to do it, know what I mean? But you need to f- you need to keep technically I'm, I'm a, obviously I'm in the main event, not I mean, re- wrestling. It'd be, it'd be aye, it, would, it would be weird if you weren't. Obviously yeah. I, I'm a hometown hero and obviously it's obviously mostly for the a lot. Of, that's the thing. I know. I was all expecting it just to be all government people buying tickets for it. There's a lot of people for places that love that. Not exactly. Exactly. But, but you, but you would be surprised. Through social media, not I mean. It's, it's mad the the reach you probably got through the, the TikTok and that. Last thing I was on holiday the weekend there, man. I was obviously getting a munch man. Four wee guys came up doing like you didn't have food. Where was that? Was, that was missing. Dumb fam, dumb freeze That's mad, isn't it? That's crazy. Yeah, so that's something I do. I do have a big reach in that, but it's just part of the ones that you still just think. Obviously, obviously, not offense. Obviously, right, any. Anybody who's bought a ticket outside Govan as well, obviously I'm thankful. I'm not saying this in a bad way. But obviously when I'm putting it on, I'm calling it community pro wrestling. Like, like, I'm doing it for Govan, so in my head I'm just like, thinking obviously everybody for Govan's got to uh, buy. But obviously if I, as I'm saying, anybody who's bought a ticket, they're fucking part of the community. You know, uh, and let's come down, we'll fucking uh, wedge your way on But just in my head... I was doing it for Govan, obviously, if anybody, if any, obviously, wrestling fans or anybody wants to come and watch it, I'm 100% buzzing, but that's how I just thought it was going to be all wrestling people, people mm-hmm. for Govan, just because that was just what I was thinking. Just to support the community, Aye. so definitely, mate. But as I said, so, that's obviously just, the wrestling, the wrestling show's obviously got to be, I can't wait to do it and that, mm-hmm. but still, I've got big kings planned You're for not actual there. wrestling next year, I for actual, what I want to do, I've started wrestling for a company in Ireland, obviously ICW have just became a good gig and that, no, I mean, obviously <laughs> it's probably after back of the TikTok, but obviously there's things that I didn't feel what I go to do. I, there's a, some unfinished business, Nat, for the last time I was uh, mm-hmm. facing ICW, you know I mean? so if you want to go back and get that done. Rectify things. Obviously definitely. I've never won a belt in ICW, you know what I mean? I've never won many belts in mm-hmm. Scotland, that for example. So I did that. Uh, it's, it's about time, I think so, you know what I mean? I'm fucking Fair one of the most recognised wrestlers in Scotland, you know, as I said, so uh, it's about time that I start putting companies on my back and Mm-hmm. Uh, getting them the helping them get the recognition that I'm starting to get through this TikTok and stuff like that. Definitely, bro. Right. Well, mm-hmm. obviously we're in Riley's gaff. We would be rude not to ask you about a gaff. Have you got any mad stories you want to share just to end it off with? Yeah, well, I've got two right one with my gaff, obviously, but Paul Martini being in my house. Uh, <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, right, so basically what happened was obviously uh, I see W the night obviously me, my missus, all my pals, and then we bumped into it. People for ICW and that Dallas and stuff like that, and well, I'll we'll get he's done here. But we end up just going home at my house, me and my missus, and that. And then we get a phone call for like Dallas, and he's like, What's happening? He's doing it. He's like, uh, We pull on the team, we bumped into him in the garage, we did an after party. You go, man, I was like, Aye, obviously, mate, that's sound. Obviously, the key and that thing, not I mean, we're down playing it like that. I mean, <laughs> I got off the phone, I was like, Everybody right here. I don't know if it's a bam or not, right, but uh. <laughs> Pound with Tina might be coming here. Not, so I need you to sort of do a favour. Like if he, when he gets here, don't fucking start being all marks not, and fucking any fanboy. No, you need to fucking. That kill. Definitely. Yeah, uh, really, yeah. but obviously my pal was like, what? <laughs> but they're obviously they're not like they, they, they just they could I don't know they, I think they just could kind of tell what was going to happen. Uh, they were up here, so they're all running about, not that panic, not that, no danger, not. I'm like, he's not fucking calm down, not that. They, so eventually the taxis probably don't know that and he actually had something like this. I'm like, fuck right, every country's coming in, not I mean fucking <laughs> get ready, don't even right. act like fucking anything's happening, not I mean just a random guy at the end of the day, not even be coming here if it wasn't a random guy, fuck not I mean, uh, he's a normal cunt. Even Aye. though we'd just been to see him in a sort of bell house <laughs> one, one, one month before it, not I mean obviously. So obviously he's came into the house, uh, in that way. He's like that he's always any booze like that. bits of booze and that, but uh, we're gonna obviously try and get me not he's like oh I can just go out of the bank machine and get cash, right? And we're like, well, no, obviously you can't, mate. You're pulling the teeny, you can't just <laughs> walk out of the shop and govern, mate. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like 12, no, but probably much later. I don't know, but you, can't, you just can't do that. That's no yeah. happening. You know what I mean? I was like, if you want, you can give me your tear down. I'll go and get it. You know what I mean? Obviously. So basically, uh, well, you, was, you just obviously end up parting on it. But it's that way, like, Dash, not that fucking. You need Dash to for pictures, not obviously just let him react. It's not like, you need borrow sound, mate, right? So Dash, not to end up going up the road, obviously, but everybody's for left eyes. Obviously, he's just doing his guy for me, and all my, pal, my, my government pals. And obviously, now I've just, well, that's not on phone now, but I'll like, right, mate, one. 
Pulling the trees and that guy for fucking up here. Yeah, you need to see this, mate. Full speed, man. Everybody phone out. Some people lie, and they bore on me. You know what I mean? Some of my pals lie. Like, Maybe it's fucking six in the morning. They shut up, you know, I'm pure hanging up in this night. End up my pal. One of my pals, Russell, mate. Heavy class, the guitar, Russell Campbell, man. Heavy class guitar player, man. I don't know how he's no fucking end up making bigger things of himself because he, he should be his classer. End up phone him and man. He's fucking, I told him, pulling the trees. The guy, if he's end up bringing his missus and he's waiting, no. Mate, playing the guitar, no, at some boy. Mate, class, but always doing him heavy jamming, but he never singing his ancients, Paul, no. He's obviously singing all different tunes and that. Probably, he's probably played them that many times he doesn't Aye, even probably, enjoy playing them. He was, was classmate, obviously, and he didn't see anything. He would try to get a picture of him. Like, look away from the camera. Not, I mean, not, like, that way I'll look at you if you look deep into your eyes. Like, this is actually <laughs> better. Not, I mean. And then obviously later on, was like, I think it was that time that mannequin challenge was fucking popular. Like, Pool, mate. Sorry, but we're going to get you in a mannequin challenge. You only done it, not we end up fucking so guys, it. Sounds brand new, mate. Guy, man, but one of you obviously... We paid for his night, no, I mean, not a bad way, but he's the fucking guy who fucking should have the deep focus. Aye. Aye. I feel like we should have been reimbursed. But I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm wrestling in Inverness the next day, in fact. And I've obviously ended up having to leave Pool and a teeny and my gaff and my missus and all my pals and all that. <laughs> well, I've headed up to Inverness <laughs> to wrestle, mate. No, I mean, obviously, the next day, he'd look left, head up to Dundee or something, so he'd the mad bastard, man. Aye, mate. Class. Crazy. Sounds like some boy. What man. a story to end up. Uh, amazing stuff. David, tell people where can they find you on social media? Yeah, uh, places you can find on social media on my Facebook page where it all started, Ravy Davy, the Fresh Prince, the Ramoyne Square page, then Instagram, Ravy Davy underscore one. Uh, what else is our Twitter? Ravy underscore Davy underscore MCC. I'm terrible. I should have them all the same. Mate, you've, got too <laughs> many, you've got so many. I, know, but I should have them all just the one. Aye, Ravy Davy. I'm a murder. You need then to get a link to you, bro. I've got Ravy I had the Ravy Fresh Prince, but I lost that. I've got Scheme Sports News <laughs> and I've got the Ravy Davy show which I've not actually posted anything on that but basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to film a sketch show I'm trying to get enough uh, content on it that I'm not just got to be posting dribs and drabs and you don't so I'm basically so get got to try. On that the, the idea for that is going to be an all Ravy Davy gets a real job with the, the job centre find out that I've been doing wrestling for the last six years while I'm signing on oh, and that's a good idea so basically be that's funny. logistics so obviously that's we'll a get good idea. and it's also a way for me to get to promote these places like a lot of people have been asking me to come in when they've seen my rotten food review and stuff Aye. like that but I can't technically go and talk them because how can I go in when I'm Dane Rotten Food with this. this is where I can promote business and stuff and like that. So, see if you think you're out there and you think there's like a good me coming into your working kid on that I work there, it's obviously got to be that I end up fucking fucking up. I don't actually, I'm no good at the job. Aye. But if you think that'd be good to uh, promote your place, give us a shout and we'll get something filmed. No, on we'll the podcast. Like anybody as well, as I said, because obviously I keep getting banned on TikTok, I'm always looking to collaborate with anybody. So, anybody on TikTok who's watching this and maybe wants to collaborate with some, give us a shout. I'm up to date any of that. My email address is ravydavin84 at gmail.com or just get me on social media. Usually, Instagram is one that I'll answer back to me. And that's what's happened to us. Yes, well done, Davey. Obviously, well for done, us, Davey boy. Um, subscribe, like, uh, share it about, tell everybody. As you say, Thank tell you. your more. Tell your more, your dad, your granny, your granddad, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your dog, and all our fucking pals, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, <laughs> shout out to me, Maxo, because he's probably got you watching this. <laughs> Number one fan, Maxwell, I got you a shout out. Uh, God bless. Sometime, tap free, definitely. I don't know about number one. <laughs> the the Wayne and there's Wee Jackson, know what I mean? So it's definitely tap free. He's always at shows, but we'll give him one. Shout day. out, Maxwell. Shout out, Maxwell. God bless. Thank you so much, Cheers, David. Man. Brilliant, mate. Thanks. Excellent, bro. Thank you.